the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really wanna make you mine. I don't really care about love. I don't really care about happy ever afters. Something about you gives me hope. Something about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah! The time has finally come, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's your boy Blue, and it is my extreme pleasure to introduce you to the new kid on the block, the next cool kid on the block, and that is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Heck yeah! We have all been waiting a very long time to finally get a look at this sim. And uh, I know you're all excited to get going. Today, we have a lot planned. First, we're gonna be heading out to New Zealand, baby. Uh, I mean, I can't think of a better, a more beautiful place to kick off our, our Microsoft Flight Simulator adventures, you feel me? Uh, but first, we're gonna head out to New Zealand and then I'm flying to one of your houses. Matter of fact, a bunch of your houses today. We're gonna be doing a contest. You can go ahead and start now. Type in exclamation mark, my house in the chat. Estimation mark my house in the chat and after our first flight we'll be flying out to a bunch of you of you of your neighborhoods um, Don't worry. We're not gonna be like giving away your legit location um, But basically you're gonna get the choice of where uh, we visit after this flight So you get basically to choose the next flight and uh, yes yeah, gonna be a lot of fun looking forward to it Make sure you guys stay tuned the rest of this week man tomorrow. We will be doing a Microsoft flight simulator giveaway We're doing a, a game pass giveaway have a few of them planned so excited if you have not been able to get your hands on this game yet you may want to stick around for those uh, those giveaways but man there's also a lot of another, a lot of giveaways being done by Microsoft themselves as well as other streamers and content creators so definitely make sure you check any of those guys out but thank you guys for coming through and hanging out with your boy blue I'm super excited man like I don't want to I don't want to drag it out anymore I don't want to drag it out anymore. Let's get straight to it, guys. Again, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is the Airbus A320 Neo. Icy, welcome to the stream. Sister Shook Wyatt, good to see you, man. Aim, Mungo, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, guys. Citation Logan, what's up, man? What's happening, bro? So right now, we're on the uh, in the hangar screen. Uh, we haven't actually gotten everything started yet, but we're in the hangar screen. We can take a quick look at everything that uh, Microsoft has to offer. So uh, I'm actually going to turn the music down a little bit. 
I have the in-game music turned off because I'm honestly already tired of it. Uh, but uh, if you guys didn't know, I, I was an alpha and a beta tester for this game. So thankfully, you know, thanks to Microsoft, I was able to, to get an early look at it, but I was not allowed to stream it early. So now I can finally stream it. I can finally give you my honest opinions without the NDA uh, police. Uh, so, but right now, honestly, this is kind of my first time looking at the release of the sim. I've been kind of purposefully not watching a lot of other live streams and, and videos because I want to kind of be fresh uh, as I get into here get in here and, and start seeing the um the new stuff man I still haven't got the flight of 787 a lot of these planes the longitude uh the new cub so a lot of these versions that even the alpha testers did not yet have their hands on uh, in the later stages in the last few weeks. So um, this is still like kind of like a brand new game to me, man. So I'm looking forward to getting out there. So like I said, we'll start off flying a short flight uh, over New Zealand. Uh, and then after that, we're going to do some VFR flying around you guys' neighborhoods. Sounds good? All right, so we're going to hop in the A320 first. Um, I'm actually going to go back to uh, the welcome screen. And, and this is also, uh, please bear with me, guys, because this is my first time streaming Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I haven't got a chance. Oops, didn't mean to click on that. I uh, haven't got a chance to test any of the streams. So if you're getting any lag or any any performance issues, please let me know. Uh, we're not going to really walk through all the UI and the screens right now. There's plenty, plenty of YouTube videos already about that. I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched it. You can see we got the landing challenges. We got the bush trips, which we would absolutely be visiting all of these things here uh, this week. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, man. I'm excited. We're all excited about the new game coming out and being out. We got Course of Wars, the current uh, landing challenge live event. So we'll definitely be trying that out. We got flight training over here. If you're new to flight sim, or if you just want to kind of brush up on on uh, how this game does. Sorry, this simulator does simulation. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. World map. Here we come. Starting off in, in uh, New Z. I already got it right here. Auckland. International New Zealand and uh, let's see we'll be in the A321 I'm actually gonna load up at the ramp I already got see I see George was already so I'm gonna park right there at gate 19 if you guys want to fly with this which I absolutely think you should um, it's definitely way more fun with friends uh, we're gonna be on the uh, all players so it's gonna be your settings have to be this in order to actually see us on the map so set your settings to all players I don't think it matters if these three are on, but I'm gonna have mine set to AI. Um, and then, can I do live? Let me see. No, I'm not gonna do live because if I do live, it will uh, it won't let me do anything else. There should be a live option. Here it is, live weather, and we'll change the time of day because right now New Zealand is like freaking middle of the night, so I kinda wanna, wanna see some, some nice scenery, you know what I mean? So we're gonna do, uh, so all players, AI, preset. Um, we'll just do live weather and then I'll figure out what 10 a.m. is what it says, but sometimes it doesn't spawn in that way. So that's what we'll do there. Uh, and then we'll go to on the top right of the screen, flight conditions. Uh, hold on, that's not right. Uh, did I do that right? No. How do I change my server? Oh, up here. So up here where your name is. So if you want to add me, feel free to add me. Blue Games uh, number 5412 if you guys want to add me. Um, but you need to go to server east. USA. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Click on East USA just to make sure that we can see each other uh, while we're online. So go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and finish up our flight plan. So uh, again, today, let's see where we're we flying. I already, I already forgot where we we're flying. I know we're starting in Auckland. I think we're flying down to Queenstown, which has a, actually a pretty interesting approach. Yeah, Queenstown. So it was November, Zulu, Quebec, November. That's going to be Queenstown. Oh, it's going to be nice. It's gonna be real nice. All right, so we'll just do that there, and then we'll set uh, our flight plan, high altitude airways. We're not gonna do it manually today. We'll save that for another time. I wanna get flying and get in here and get going. So high altitude airway, and then shoot, I already forgot <laughs> what departure. Uh, Raven, are you in the chat? What, what departure were we using uh, for this? I think you posted it in my Discord, and I already, I already forgot, my bad. Like, see, uh, I don't know, this live weather might be a problem. Look at all these, it's all this cloud cover out here, man. And sorry, guys, uh, for um, the the chat. I uh, will uh, be responding to your questions. Let me get loaded in here just for a second. And we'll be ready to go. Uh, what did he say? What is it? What is it? What is it? I really forgot. Go to Flight Sim Channel. Flight sim, here it is. 
uh, U something? All right, so departure will be something with the U in it. I think you said what runway we're using? Uh, three, five, zero, five? I don't see. I don't see that one. NZA. Oh, so a Akel One Quebec. Here it is. Zero five. Right. All right, there it is, right there. That's the first one. Easy, easy. All right. So next we'll do the arrival. Uh, it's so funny. Usually we're doing this in, in in the FMC, but today we're doing it right here in the uh, in the menu screen, which is which is nice. It's nice to be able to go in here and just quick start. I'm still gonna do the manual program FMCs in the future, uh, but today just to kind of get straight to the action, I wanted to. To do this instead, so I guess we're landing in uh, is it zero five? Yeah, zero five in Queenstown. All right, an approach would we'll do zero five Yankee. So I might actually have to pull up some charts for this flight. I don't know. And one thing I don't like about this is that it takes us away from the island all the way out here. So we'll see. We'll just, we'll just go with it. Let's just go with it. We'll learn. All right, fly, and here we go. All right, flare pilot. What's up, man? You live in the Caribbean near the strip Playa del Carmen. Sounds good, man. Type in exclamation mark my house. Uh, we're doing a contest, so whoever basically wins that random draw will fly to basically wherever they are or wherever they want. So, fixing things for you, walk to the stream. Jonathan Berkeley, walk to the stream. Starly, what's up, man? IF style, yes, sir. Captain Bambosa. The weather, I'm worried about the weather right now. Mojo, what up, man? Why are the shades? Matter of fact, the shades are going to come off right here in just a second because I don't want to miss out on the scenery, not one bit. Not one bit. George, what's up, man? Good to see you. Ed Reed, Aperture, walk to the stream. Rafael Santiago, walk to the stream. Raven, good to see you, man. Ninja Star, Av, Av Geek, welcome to the stream. Simon Saucy, hopefully you guys are excited. Uh, it took me 10 hours, no joke, 10 hours to download. Uh, actually, more like 10 and a half. 10 and a half hours to download Microsoft Flight Simulator with my current internet connection. Um, hopefully you guys have better luck than I did. That's all I'm going to say. And I know some is tons of issues people are having right now. And oh God, it's nighttime. We'll have to change that. That's not cool. Ready to fly. All right, let's go to the top. And we're gonna do that, change that immediately. There we go. Oh wow, it is overcast out here. Not good. Oh shoot, my engine. Oh right, I gotta, heh. <laughs> well, we gotta figure out how to start this thing. Uh, There is live traffic. Yes, there is. Today we will be actually, uh, we won't be doing live traffic, we'll be doing AI traffic. Bobby, Jojo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, man. If you see me scrolling in and out like this, it's because I'm trying to scroll through the comments and it scrolls my whole simulator, which is pretty freaking funny. Mateo, good to see you. Beautiful, beautiful. Who's that coming through? Mateo Hana. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Well, let's get this thing started up. We're going to do it the um, default Microsoft Flight Simulator way, <laughs> and that is using the checklist. So, uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and do a real quick roll call and check, uh, make sure my stuff is working. All right, beautiful. I see a, I, you know what? These shades gotta go. <laughs> the shades gotta go, man. It's too pretty. It's too pretty. All right, is it raining? It is raining. Holy crap. All right, so I don't know if that's AR. If that's, is that one of us? Is that one of us? All right, cool. Again, guys, if you wanna join us, come through. Queenstown, sorry, not Queenstown, Auckland, November Zulu Alpha Alpha. Getting ready to park. You see, they have the push pushback truck there. Uh, I'm not sure how many frames I'm getting right now. Uh, looks like Track IR is working beautifully. And I got all my controls set up. That's one of the reasons that we were delayed today. It took me so long to get started. Uh, I was trying to get all of my controls set up, and I also forgot to change my call sign. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. What's up, man? I think we're going to get. Very familiar with this guy. Heck yeah, man. I'm excited. This is this is nice. I mean, again, the, the weather's not too great, so it's not looking too pretty outside, but that's just the reality of flying. Not every day you want to fly is going to be a beautiful day. So let's get started with uh, the things that I do know that we can do. Oops, sorry. And uh, let's see if we can call in uh, ATC. So we have to go to the ACT. Okay, well, first we have to turn the engines on. Or not the engines, we have to turn the the uh, battery on so I'm gonna use my header to look up here external power battery one battery two and I'm gonna shut the um, music off so we can hear what the in-game sounds sound like hopefully they are actually working yes I do I do hear them okay cool 
All right, so I'm not expecting like a BSS or anything like that, but it should sound okay. All right, so now that we got the uh, the radio on, or not the radio, but we have the the stuff on, we should now be able to tune in. What is that sound? I'm um, we'll gonna go to Auckland Ground, and from Auckland Ground, now we can request fuel supply, uh, power supply, all that stuff. You can see now, truck is already pulling up. That's our power supply truck. All right, I'm gonna give, oh, nice! Look at that. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give us a view here from the inside of the terminal, which is not real, you know. But you know, we'll do something like that. That's cool. Legit. I like how the lights actually reflect off the plane. And we'll request the baggage service. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this whole thing, but I'm hoping that this will be more simpler later in the future. And it will ask for the catering service. One thing I am noticing, though, is I don't hear them. I don't actually hear them requesting those things. And back in the beta, they actually, whenever you click on the button, it was say like, requesting baggage. So maybe I have it turned off. Again, I haven't completely finalized my settings. So we may be uh, tweaking them here and there throughout the stream today. And then we'll request a gateway connection, jetway connection. That should be one of the most important pieces. And that'll be it for now. Pretty cool. Fire truck, where is he going? What up, Kyle? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Very sweet. Again, you can see there's that uh that truck finally getting there. And we should actually see the baggage people start loading us up here in a second, but <laughs> for whatever reason they're inside of each other. I think she's trying to get into position right now. Take a look at the detail here. Look at the detail in these bags. As we walk by them. We should do a walk around, shouldn't we? We'll get the uh, we'll get it powered up first before we do that though. All right, well they're gonna do their thing outside. We're gonna do our thing on the inside, and we'll use a checklist for the first time. We don't really need it, but we'll use it just so you guys can see what it's like. So we'll go to before start engine, and then battery switches are first. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn the chat off so you guys can see the full experience. There we go. Rotate, you got your simulator. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. Come through, come come check out, come rough, come fly with us, man. Battery switches, those are on. If I click on the eye, it'll take us up there to the overhead panel. And go to external power, on and available. That's already on. It actually also kind of like how it highlights it too. That's pretty cool. I think that this is gonna be a very cool feature um, later on when we get some more more higher fidelity planes. Uh, engine generator generators those need to be on so I can click on both those. actually it says fault that's already it's already right and then we'll go to do, do, do uh, engine bleed switches those are down here and those should be to the on position which they are the lights out so that means it's on APU master on it's not the same case with the APU you gotta actually give a you do want to actually see a light on the APU All right, so it's probably going to be instant. So we'll do after that, we'll do APU start. Usually, you want to go down here, uh, and you should see flap open. I don't think it simulates that. I highly doubt that it does. Um, yeah, I don't see it. I can't remember what screen it's on. I think it was on the bleed. Yeah, a lot of things in the cockpits of the airliners are not. I don't. A lot of things are not simulated in a lot of the planes. I'll say that much. All right, let's go back up there to the APU switches. We click on the eye right there, and then we'll go ahead and click on start. And we'll actually hear it fire up, so take a listen. It's a lot of ground traffic. Look at the water splashing on the ground. Very light rain right now. 
All right, so I think I think it's completely on now. We'll go back up here. Oh, look at that! They're loading the bags. Oh, I gotta think. I think they just finished. Yeah, they just finished. Take a take a peek. There ain't nothing in there. <laughs> they are not doing their job right now. All right, let's hop back inside. Looks like somebody's pushing back next to us. All right, so back to our checky list and turn the APU bleed on. That's gonna be our next step, even though I'm skipping along <laughs> in the checklist. So APU start. Uh, can I tick them? How do I tick them? Oh boy, who's that? C. Bakari. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Glad you can come through. Absolutely appreciate appreciate that. Let's get the nav lights on. And we'll leave it at that. That's it for the before start check. Again, these, these checklists are very simple. Very, very simple. That's basically all they give you to do. <laughs> Again, that is it. They didn't even tell me to put the pumps on. Let me see. Did I miss anything? Engine bleed. APU start. External power. Okay, here we go. APU bleed on. Uh, which is that. Yeah, we did that. Uh, external power off. Done that. Okay, here it is. Fuel pumps. I was skipping it. So fuel pumps on. And then after that, beacon. And we don't have to program the MCDU because we did that back in the main menu. So that's already going to be programmed as soon as the uh, aircraft powers up. So go to start en engine. And then basically we just go straight to start the, start the engine. So I'm going to hit F. If you didn't know this, I'll teach you guys a few keys. If you click on F, no matter where you are, uh, it'll actually recenter your camera. I think it's also um, control, yeah, control space and F basically do the same thing. You can also click on control one, control two, three, four, five for all your quick views. You can cycle through that. So let's go down to our FMC, our MCDU. And again, I'll show you how it's programmed it here for us. Again, we don't have to do it ourselves. Um, let's go to our perf page. All this stuff is kind of already filled out. I don't think it's very accurate. I, I don't really know where they're getting all these numbers from. Um, but the most important thing right now at this moment is that our flight plan is put in, in and our altitudes are in there. So I have to check. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is all wrong. If it's filing us at 38,000 feet, probably not going to go that high. We might. Um, but yeah, I think the altitudes are wrong. Other than that, the, the flight plan is good. So if I were to do this myself, I would have put in different altitudes, most likely. So anyway, that's good. Here's our radio nav. So this is where you're going to want to put your ILS information. I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to have an ILS today. But if we did, this is where we would put that. Also, for the VORs and radio navigation, it would also go down here in this section. Enzo, my friend. What's up, my friend? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Uh, other than that, let's see. Program page works, sort of. Perf page works. Init page works. Data does something. Flight plan works. Radio nav works. Fuel prediction. That works. Secondary flight plans. In-op. ATC comp. In-op and airport in op so yeah so you're gonna notice that a lot of things in here are, are, in, are inoperable uh but other than that man it, it should be okay all right so we are ready to push now i guess it that's 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 that freaking simple i'm just gonna make our range a little bit wider and, and there's our, our flight plan right there let's go ahead and see if we can pick up our atis and we'll tell all these guys to uh to move out of our way i am going to request uh yeah, jetway disconnection now. As well as, I think it'll be a good idea to yo yo your you music original. Thank you, my friend, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. I do appreciate that, guys, so much. Appreciate you guys coming through for the support. Amazing. We got a couple friends with us here, flying. So this is what multiplayer looks like. This is um, let's go see what he looks like actually. So this is a multiplayer plane that's just pushing back in the A320 Neo. One thing you'll notice is the call sign is blacked out. So that's just something that I guess the limitation right now with Microsoft Flight Simulator is on multiplayer you won't see your friend's call signs in game. The do the dulcim <laughs> the dulcim I don't know how to say your name. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to the subscription <laughs> Blue Arrow Roy family. And thank you for that subscription. Um, but let's see how detailed this is. So yeah, so this is kind of what the cockpit looks like in multiplayer, which makes sense. It shouldn't be that detailed. Um, these are the people they have in here. I don't know if this is who this person chose. You can choose your avatar. And uh, they actually look pretty darn good, to be honest with you. I haven't showed you guys my avatar yet, but the avatars in the in the cockpit look pretty good, pretty detailed for multiplayer. I'm pretty impressed by that for sure. You can go look at mine so you can see me. Don't don't it look just like me though? Don't it look just like me though? Come on, tell me. <laughs> so there's me and my uh my flight 
uh, first officer, and you know her name, Cynthia. She's with us again. She came over from X-Plane. And uh, anyways, let's uh, get ready to push. Ooh, I can hear him. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so cool. Who is this? Is that Raven? George, one of you guys? Oh, he's struggling with those gears. That's cool. I can actually hear when he when he uh, pushes back. All right, so let's go, let's go do that ourselves and get the engines fired up. I'm going to hold it right here. And uh, beacon light's already on, ready to push. I'm just going to go ahead and contact the uh, ATC again. This is kind of weird. Needing to contact ATC uh, for pushback, which, I mean, you would, but it's weird that you have to do it in this menu. So I'm going to go to... Uh, where is that? Where is pushback? I don't want to ask for IFR clearance. You know what, guys? I think I turned off... Hold on. I think I turned off the... Uh, is it under assistance? I think I turned off the ATC voice. Pretty sure I did. Let's go to general. Uh, the traffic. Thank you, Gamer Bolt, for the was that a follow subscription? Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I do appreciate that. You can also turn on the names too if you want, but I have them turned off for personal preference. All but I'm looking for Eno Joey. Thank you as well for that subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. You really are. Miscellaneous. Where is it? Where's the setting at to turn? Uh, I think, oh, I think it's on the sound, isn't it? User interface, other aircraft, warnings, cockpit, mute, mute, uh, b -b 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 warning. Where the heck is it? I know I saw oh, it somewhere. Lord. I know I freaking saw it. Another one. Uh, B O Ali, what's up? And thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. 94% complete. Who is that? Kingsley, bro. I'm happy for you. I'm excited for you. Again, if you guys just joined us, I waited 10, no kidding, 10 hours for my uh, Microsoft simulator to download, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But I know it kind of has to do with like your internet speed and stuff like that. So. That kind of tells you a little bit about my areas. ATC voices are on. Uh, checklist UI, open at start. Huh. Piloting, take off. I am not sure. Uh, Ro Jamgo, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Good to see you, man. Thank you. Welcome aboard, my friend. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, you know, I wasn't really planning on using ATC anyways. I'm not a fan of the ATC system in uh, in MSFS right now, so we'll just not use it. Yeah, resume, resume. There we go. I do need. I do need a pushback though. Uh, how do I request pushback? Do I have to ask for IFR clearance first? Are they gonna make me ask for IFR clearance? Oh, there it is. To Queenstown Airport as filed. Take off runway five right climb and maintain seven thousand feet. Departure frequency is one one nine or decimal two squawk one zero five four. Alright, so I don't want to do it, so we're gonna make our co pilot Cynthia do it. <laughs> Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero cleared to Queenstown Airport as filed. Take off runway five right climb. Thank you, Vincent, for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Ray Family. Right, this is what I do. I just make the AI do the ATC because I don't feel like dealing with it. There it is. Uh, wait, taxi. Why? Where is the pushback truck? There it is. I guess you have to ask for clearance first and then you can push. So I'll request pushback and then we'll kind of go to a top view and get pushed back. And we can also see where uh, runway 5 is. We'll see if he gets locked up on us. Flanks Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. Thank you guys very much. Shift P, what does that do? Is that a quick key for pushback? Uh, true simulation, guys. After this, after this leg uh, from Auckland to Queenstown, we're gonna be doing uh, basically a uh, my house 
<laughs> feature where we'll be flying out to one of you guys' uh, neighborhood. So type in exclamation mark my house in the chat and uh, it's for a chance for us to pick your location to fly in. And it doesn't have to be your house. You can just pick where you want us to go. Hero Brian, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I do appreciate that. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. All right, so parking brakes are actually still on. Uh, I forgot to turn them off. Uh, again, guys, we are using track IR. In case you were wondering, is that off? That's off. All right, cool. Now we're pushing. Click on F to reset the view. And back outside we go. I think I missed one. I'm sorry. Aslan, thank you for the subscription. And the other person right before you, appreciate it. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Uh, oh, God, we just got murdered by a bus. That's bus number one fatality. Here comes another one. Is he going to wait? Is he going to wait? No, dead. All right, these guys are very impatient, I can see. Why is he not pushing me? He's pushing me very slowly. Chandra, Chandra, thank you for the subscription, too. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I do, I do appreciate that. All right. Oh, it turned back on. Okay, there we go. Now we're pushing. Now we're pushing. All right, push me to the right, please. Auckland ground, Airbus Alpha Sierra X-ray 320 requesting pushback tuck to steer the aircraft. To I right. hate how long it takes in the start. Like, he waits until the person does the entire request. Push me to the right, please. And now he starts pushing you. So I'm not a fan of um the ground services the way they work like i like that the way i love actually i have to say i love the way that the gate attaches i love the way everything attaches is way better than the x-plane rexy thank you for the subscription welcome to the blue area family we're gonna hit stop right around there so you see now i hit stop Auckland he's gonna ground, say it and he's gonna keep turning me until pushback. he finishes saying stop <laughs> so um that's something i'm not a fan of it's been that way all through the alpha and beta phases as well. Um, never been a fan of that at all. I'm also using the drone camera. If you're wondering how I'm using my moving my camera around, you, you guys know I've always been huge on making cinematic cameras and things like that. So having the drone camera is really like a I love it. Like I love and I hate the camera system all at the same time. We'll be talking a lot about the stuff that I like and don't like about the game throughout today's stream, but. Obviously looks beautiful, has a lot of great things about it, but there's also things that need to be worked on. So, speaking of getting worked on, let's get the engines fired up. We'll start with engine number two. And we'll put the view right here so we can come back out and let, take a listen. All right, so brakes back on. And then uh, basically all we need to do is switch to this baby over here to ignition start and then pop on engine number one. And I believe that's it. Beacon's already on. APU's running. Let's go outside. Aaron, the game bro, sorry your uh, sub didn't pop up, but thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. Uh, Graham, only sometimes. It's not in every case that you have to start with Engine 2. I know a lot of us simmers believe that you have to always start with Engine 2, but I've actually learned from real pilots that it's not always Engine 2. Most of the time. Most of the time that I've seen, it's been Engine 2, but... I've seen a few cases where pilots have used engine one to start. Yeah, Jumbo. Also disappointed. No liveries uh, at launch. Uh, they talked about it in the Q&A about a week ago, about livery, liveries coming. Um, but no liveries right now. So I'm wondering, once Midnight Gamer, what's up, my friend? Welcome to the, to the stream. Uh oh, there's a PTU. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, I didn't, I didn't. Are oh, you serious? I didn't set the camera up. Oh well, it's okay. Ah, it sucks. All right, well we're ready. Oh no, no, you better not crash. You, you. All right, cool. I have an issue with my. Oh, look at that. Somebody just took off. I think it's a citation. All right, engine two starting. Up. And what we're going to do is actually use the drone camera and create an inside wing view. There is no cabin, FYI. There is no cabin. <laughs> in, the, in the default plane. Uh, who is that? I just missed it. Sorry. Welcome, though, to the Blue Arrow family. I apologize. I missed it. I was trying to tab over. Hadi the boss. 
Also to you, thank you very much for that sub. Welcome to Blue Arrow family. So engine two is firing up from our artificial wing view. Skate the scoot donkey, what up man? Did you check out uh, the new skate that came out today, I think? A new skate game came out. A new Tony Hawk Pro Skate is what it's called. Oh, you guys are rolling it in. My name, Jeff. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Area family. Our, our subscription guy. He's, his arms are going to get tired if you guys keep subbing. <laughs> oh, here goes another one. Hey, Mustaneer. Welcome this way. Welcome to the Blue Area family. Good to see you. Good to see you. We are almost ready. We're taking our sweet time. Who is that? Char Charbel Arrays. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Blue Area family. All right. Engine 2 is fired up. We are ready to taxi. So I'm put the uh, arm, the spoilers. We'll go flaps. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's too much flaps. All right, we're just going to do it manually because I don't think I mapped that right. Flaps 1. We'll put that back into regular. And that regular smegular. Official DSJ. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal Family. Taxi lights on. All right, we're going to uh, uh, go away from the checklist now. We're just going to do our thing. Wing lights. Oh, those are going to come on. Uh, runway turn offs. That's going to come. Come on. Come on. There it is. Uh, APUS is going to come off. Master switch off. And AP bleed off. Uh, CBO signs are already on. Actually, you can't even click those buttons. Pity, pity. Uh, other than that, we're good. Again, you can't really click a lot of things up there. And we are ready to go. Uh, I don't know what the altimeter is. Don't really care. And uh, let's see. Hey, hey, Skyhawk, what's up? First you gain 10k subs with if global and now another 5k coming because of this lol. <laughs> Congrats, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Skyhawk. Oh gee, he's been with me since the beginning. And I do, I do appreciate. I'm looking for the auto break. I think it's already on. Polar, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome to Blurry Family. Let's get taxing, guys. Parking brakes can be released here. There it is, it's gone. And uh, another one, Alex Kanan. All right, guys, board, board, board. We're about to leave. Get in when you can. Look at that. I don't have my depth of field turned on right now, but if I did, it would look dope. All right, let's go. Today I'm using the TCA side stick by Thrustmaster. All aboard! And I'm gonna go ahead and taxi out of here. Right, Kenneth Reese, thank you, my friend, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue. Arrow Royal Family. If you guys want to move the camera up and down to like a bit of a higher view, you can click on the space bar and it'll do that for you. Let's go ahead and do a real quick flight control check while we're rolling. Full right, full left, back. I am not going to have the camera. I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to have the uh, side stick camera for you guys. I'm kind of in a hurry to get the stream started and finally get in here. And um, so I'm just glad to be here. There's a plane right in front of me. There's a, a Baron? <laughs> There's a Baron on the, on, I'm pretty sure that's a person. Uh, but we're gonna go through you, I'm sorry. Uh, Airbus has priority, he's taking off, legit. Let's see if their gear goes up. So cool, all right, so this is what we're gonna do. Since there's no replay mode, we're gonna watch them take off and land. James R, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Royal family. I do greatly appreciate that. Thank you, thank you guys. Javier Mozart, thank you my friend. Thank you for the subscription. You guys are coming through today. I really do appreciate you guys coming through and hanging out with me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. If you have finished downloading though, if you finished downloading multiplayer, I'm sorry, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, we have more than one flight today. We'll be hanging out here for quite a while today. Um, tomorrow we'll be on probably even the even longer stream tomorrow. Um, but today we're doing a quick IFR flight from Auckland, New Zealand out to um, Queenstown, New Zealand. And as you can see, it's gonna be pretty challenging because uh, it's overcast. It's overcast and raining. So that's gonna be quite the issue. Yuri, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. It's like he may be back taxiing. I am not sure. I'm actually using my rudder pedals now um, to actually turn the nose wheel. Him Bob, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the, for the sub. Welcome to the Blue Airway family. Uh, we also do have a VFR map up here. If I can find it, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, there it is. And it'll actually help us out some with uh, like knowing where the taxiways are. We're not going to be using any charts today. We really, I usually would be, um, but we won't be using any charts today. 
Um, you can see that runway is right there, parallel to the left of us. We got traffic up ahead of us. This would be pretty legit. And you see our full flight plan here. We'll be taking off, making a right turn, 180. And most of our flight will actually be over the water, it looks like. Um, but most likely will be over the over the clouds anyway. We may need to do, man, it sucks, because like, we're out here for the scenery, but I guess we're going to get to appreciate the clouds instead. Jaquan, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Gavin Daly, what's up? This, my report, welcome to the stream. I'm not using VR. This is Track IR. It's a, uh, a, vi a, a device on my head that I can actually move around. Actually, I'll show you while we're taxiing. So you see, this is it. I'll reset it. As I move it left, it looks left. I move it right, it moves right. It's one of the last additions that they made uh, during the beta um, to add track IR support, which is pretty darn cool. Let's see if my altitude works. It does. All right, so um, let's go up to... We're filed for 38,000. I don't really want to go that high. Let's go like 35, 33. Detective Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm going to go up to 33,000, so I'm going to change my altitude over there. I have a button mapped on my throttle. There, oh, I keep missing it. Um, but I can also reach over there, obviously, and, and do it that way, too. Every day, Skyhawk! Can you help me? My router and yoke is not responding. How did you set it up? Uh, yeah, so what I did, and what I'm recommending a lot of people do, is just go ahead and create a new profile. If you go onto the, uh, what was it, the oh! screen for controls, you can go to the very bottom, create a new profile, and just do it from scratch. You're on bottom court. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow, your family. Uh, but you go down there. Sorry, and um, just make a brand new profile and just set it up, set it up manually. Uh, that might clear up some issues you may have. I'm using the Thrustmaster T-Flight rudder pedals. Um, very common set of rudder pedals that a lot of people have, so I can confirm that they do work. I'm also again using the Thrustmaster TCA side stick, the new one, um, but it also works out of the box with the 1600M. Um, the thing is, even with my TCA side stick, it had a default profile that works out of the box with no mapping. Um, but I wanted a specific way, so I went ahead and, and set it up completely manually. Email Emil Bergum, thank you for the subscription and welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you guys. Welcome aboard. We're about to take off. We're number two for takeoff runway 05 right um, behind the traffic. We'll be watching him take off. Salish, welcome to the stream. Good to see you guys. Right, I'm going to park it right here because there's a little bit of uh, light rain on the windshield. We're going to put the parking brake on and enjoy our friend's takeoff because, again, there is no replay mode. Can you believe that? No freaking replay mode. So I'm actually going to move the camera. If I can get over there fast enough, we're just going to run. Run, run, run. <laughs> we're going to run over here and uh, watch him take off. Oh, that sounds good. Listen to that. I think he missed the center line. It's okay. It's okay. No, nobody's watching you. Nobody's watching you right now. There's nobody here. It's just me. I'm streaming to nobody right now. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, this is so sick. See, if we had replay mode, we could do things like this all the time. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. This is so dope. All right, I hope he rotates before he gets here. Probably won't, though. Oh, this is so sick. Oh, I can't turn fast enough. Turn. Turn. <laughs> that is so cool oh my god there he goes who needs vatsim csls <laughs> I, matter of fact i don't know how that worked yet we're gonna probably have to do a vatsim flight later this uh week and see how that actually looks all right so now that was so sick right that was so freaking that was so freaking satisfying the only issue now is my camera is super far away but it's okay i think i can reset it uh, anyways, all right, our turn. We're next up. Uh, blue 116, sorry, Auckland traffic, blue 116, taking off from way 05 right, departing to the south. All right, park and brake release. Flaps are down. Uh, auto brakes are set to max. Turn on the landing lights. Strobe lights for takeoff. And takeoff lights on the center. And we are good on the overhead. All right, we have 27 program. That's okay. We'll just, we'll just run with it. Uh, we're squawking basically, you know, 2992. We'll leave it as that. I can dig it. 
So only again, I still have a few buttons I haven't mapped yet, guys. I was kind of in a hurry to get started. I just finished downloading everything before uh, we started our stream today, so I still have some buttons that I have not completely mapped. So some of my views are not working like I want them to yet, but I have it a pretty good base here. And I can still see the departing traffic leaving up there. Actually, I think it's... What is that? I think it's that water flying thing up there. Again, guys, we are on the USA East server. All players. And live weather. But we just changed it to time of day. Alright, were you guys ready for some toga? Some toga action? Here we go, guys. Cleared for takeoff runway 5 right Airbus Alpha Sierra X-Ray 320. Yes, we are. <laughs> Airspeed's alive, 80 knots. Alright, rotor pedals are working. That's good. I'm also gonna turn on terrain radar. We're gonna need that. And it's getting light. There's rotate. And a pitch up's about 15 degrees in the climb. You can also follow that green flight director. Positive climb, speed's getting a bit fast. Cure up and flaps up. Now you can see our uh, terrain radar is working. Man, it's getting dark out here. Look at that. Flying into the clouds already. And I'm still flying in my hand. I still have the controls. Alright, so now it wants us to go back into lever climb, which means pull your throttle back until that right there goes to green. Throttle lever goes to green. So now it's basically on auto throttle, so it's going to manage the speed on its own. But we still have control of the pitch and everything. So we're still controlling the plane. It's not on autopilot, just auto throttle. Again, I'm kind of explaining these things. I know there's a lot of people joining us that are new. So not only new to the channel, but new to flight sim in general. So pushing the nose down. You can see we are going a little bit fast in the climb. We're in the clouds now, though. So we're completely IFR. Which, again, this is super dope how this IFR works. Look at this. We can't see freaking anything out there. Can't see anything. Nothing. So we're completely IFR. IFR means uh, instrument fight rule. So we're doing nothing but watching our instruments as we fly. So we'll be climbing. Not sure how high these clouds go. Looks like our um, speed wants us to be around 250, so we're going to pitch down until the speed comes up. See that? So we're less vertical speed, more speed. Now that we're at our... Uh, right here you see this little diamond on 250 knots. Can you be 250 less than 10,000? We can go ahead and pitch up. And I don't like that it's slowing down. I know the autopilot is a bit... Um, weird right now or it has been so curious to see if they didn't fix any of the airbus and boeing autopilot issues i'm gonna zoom in on that still climbing climbing a bit fast but we're, we're climbing gotta bring it back down bring it down bring it down we're at eight thousand five hundred Terrain radar is on, but it's not actually showing us anything, so I guess we're okay. It should be asking us to turn here in a little bit. We'll start banking to the right and continuing our departure out of New Zealand, out of Auckland, New Zealand. It should. That's what I was saying. If I'm going to tell you what it should do, it might not do it. <laughs> it still basically have us flying straight, which is weird so we'll see what happens I think it's trying to fly us all the way out to that waypoint where it should have like arced us in between we're at 10,000 I'm actually losing out too welcome back Dion can see man are we icing we might be icing I will not be surprised if we're icing right now let's see wow look at this Woo! that's amazing Uh, I don't think we're gonna turn the anti ice on now because we are in uh, visible visible moisture. So wing anti ice, engine anti ice, and the pro heat. All right, yeah, it's been weird. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn back to where I know I need to be going. But we just flew right past that waypoint. Let's see. Click up. Yeah, I don't know if it's working or not. I think if I had autopilot on, 
it would follow it, but because I'm, it's not on, it doesn't seem to be drawing that on the flight director right now. But flaps are up, gear is up. Other than that, we're good to go. Still flying it by hand. Strictly IFR right now. We can't see anything out the windows, as you can see. I need to point the nose down. We're at like a 5,000. Sheesh. I'm just going to trim it down. So um, we're at way too fast. I mean, way too high, uh, too steep right now. Airbus 320, climb and maintain flight level 250. Climb, maintain flight level 250. Blue 116. All right, we're still turning. You can see our flight plan. It's over here. I shouldn't turn on a wing anti-ice unless there's visible ice. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. I can't actually see the wing right now, but when I can, I'll take a look and we'll uh, adjust accordingly. But thank you for that advice. I am not a real Airbus pilot, so there are these things that I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to do this manually. So let's change our speed for climb to like 265. And we'll climb according to that. Yes, yeah, so right now we're just really trying to manage... The flight directors was really throwing me off. Usually I would be following the flight director and that would give me my vertical profile as well as my lateral pro profile, but it's not giving me either. It's just like, hey, I'm an ex. <laughs> Airbus 320, please expedite your climb to flight level 250. My report, we're flying from Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, here comes the breakout. Oh my God, look at this. Holy crap. Oh my god. You, you guys looking at this? Okay, we do have way a lot of ice. Look at all that ice. Yeah, we definitely need that anti-ice to be on. Got a pretty strong crosswind too, it looks like. Alright, we got right turn. Jeez, look at this though! Oh my god. It actually looks big, you know what I mean? Like, it actually looks like it's to scale. My other camera is super far away, so I can't see it. But this is so dope. This is so dope. One of my favorite things, man, about Microsoft Flight Simulator is the weather and how it's drawn. Oh my god, that is so cool. I'm not getting any turbulence, I don't think. It doesn't seem like I'm getting any turbulence right now. We're still flying by hand, just FYI. But I'm about to go into autopilot right now. I right, autopilot is activated. We'll see what it does. If it'll follow it. The Airbus kind of uses like a VNAV system, so it should climb us up to the altitude we have selected over here, if it works correctly. But right now what it's doing is it's uh, kind of keeping the nose down to catch that speed that we have set here, kind of like flight change mode. Once it gets there, it should start pitching up. And it might, from in the testing, it was a little bit violent. The same with some of the videos you guys saw online. It was a bit violent, the way that it, uh, here it is. Now it's going up. And I'm getting pretty decent performance too, I should say. Uh, I'm getting... I don't know how many frames I'm getting, but it's been pretty smooth. And we're streaming at the same time. Let me see if I can get closer with our outside drone camera. There we go. Oh my god, this is so cool. Mach point eight zero, copy Raven. Man, how far are we from this plane? <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Do you guys see the, the engine trails going through the clouds? You seeing that? Oh my god. Oh man, look at this. Yeah, look, you can actually see the engine, um, I don't know if it's a smoke or whatever, coming from the engine, kind of going through the clouds. I think you'd be able to see that anyways if there were no clouds, but it looks kind of cool in the RFR. But look, we are iced up right now. Sheesh. Oh my god, look how much ice is on this plane. That is not safe. That does not look safe. The leading edges are, uh, are clear, it's just, but on top of the wings... Looking pretty bad, ain't it? Come on, there's another breakout. Wow. There's so many layers of cloud right now. We're flying with real-world weather, um, just not real-world time. 
So I changed the time of day, but I'm running with the real world weather. So the weather's pretty crappy out in New Zealand right now. Finally getting out of some of those clouds. Anti ice has been on since we got into the clouds. Yeah, look at this ice. Right, don't fall out of the sky, that's for sure. Here's my wing view. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That is, that's scary. If I was in a plane that had this much ice on it, I would be actually afraid for my life. But I love this, wing, this, uh, this uh, drone, like I just move around. I'm actually using my uh, PlayStation controller right now to uh, move the camera around. I'm pretty much using the, ca the, the PlayStation controller for camera work exclusively. Look at that little hole down there. It's, it's just dope, man. Now compare X Plane to this. Bro, I mean, we just flew that Friday, so it's easy to compare. The clouds is a win for sure. Again, guys, we'll be uh, taking a request towards uh, after this flight. We're doing a quick IFR flight from Auckland to Queenstown, New Zealand. Should be a pretty interesting flight, especially in this weather. I'm not even sure if we can get into Auckland. I mean, into uh, Queenstown with this weather. Look at that. Another thing you'll notice is as we get out of the clouds and the anti-ice goes to work, you actually see this ice go away. Um, it won't stay there forever as long as we get out of the icing condition. Uh, Sim CS, my download, took 10 hours, and that is no exaggeration. As a matter of fact, that's being nice when I say that. Let's go back inside and check on the plane. How are we doing? All right, so we're on, uh, we're on completely on autopilot. I know there's been a lot of uh, complaints and, and stuff about autopilot, so we're kind of testing it out now to see how uh, it does and how it treats us. But right now we're climbing up to, th we're at 30,000 feet now, uh, about 2,000 feet per minute, up to 33,000 is our final altitude. In fact, my sentence is to 33 even. Let's go ahead and change that over. There we go, 33 even. Uh, we're climbing at 263 knots. And uh, the flaps are up. We'll go ahead and unarm the speed brake. And uh, we need to turn the land lights off. As well as the runway turnoff lights, the nose lights, and the wing lights. Everything else will stay on. And we're good. It does look nice. It looks very nice. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, can anybody remind me what the button is? Nope, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Uh, what's the button to switch between quick views? I can't remember. That ain't it. <laughs> There's a button you can press from here to go to, like, next camera. I don't remember what it is. F? No, not F. Is it F? Nope, not F. Umar, uh, after this flight, we'll be flying to uh, people in the chat's house. So type in exclamation mark, my house. And then after we land in Auckland, in uh, Queenstown, our next flight will be uh, flying out to the winner, the winner's house. It'll be a, a random draw. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't, doesn't have to be your house. It just has to be wherever you want to fly. You could pick, uh, you could pick a, a, a place of interest, whichever. It doesn't have to be your house. I mean, I'm not trying to show off people's houses, like, legitly. Just want to get kind of in the area and show you what your town looks like, what your city looks like, what your local airport looks like. All right, so it sounds like we're at our cruise now. And a firm, we are. So I'm going to, so right now you can see we're at 263 knots. Um, if we don't change it, it'll just stay there. And that's pretty slow for an airliner at 33,000 feet. So I'm actually going to hit, uh, I'm going to manually switch this to mock mode, clicking this button here. And I think you said mock 0.82, was it mock 0.84? We'll do mock 0.82 for now. Usually in a plane like this, you cruise around mock 0.76 to 7.8. Uh, we're going to go a bit faster today. We'll zoom out our plan and turn off terrain radar. I think we're over the water right now, but we can't see anything anyways because we're over the clouds. But so far, so good. Uh, Autopilot's actually been treating us pretty well. Uh, we're kind of avoiding ATC, so we're not worried about that. 
I don't think we can click on any of this, can we? Oh, I can click on this. Alright, weather. It should show me weather. It does have a working weather map. But it does not seem to be drawing anything for us right now. Trust me, I've tried it before and it has worked. It should actually show us weather, but it's not drawing weather. Unless I have it turned off. Yeah, I don't know. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Yes, sir. Welcome to the stream, uh, Jake. Good to see you, man. Welcome back, bro. Welcome back, welcome back, Jaden Zarilla. Welcome back, Device. What's up, man? Thank you guys for joining into the contest today. Again, tomorrow there'll be no giveaways today. I'm sorry, but tomorrow uh, I do plan on giving away a few uh, Game Pass subscriptions. Look at this, guys. Oh, look at these clouds. Other than the, the plane being extremely iced over, which I think may be a little bit exaggerated. Um, you know, actually, you know, I'm going to take that back. That's very exaggerated. You, you, I don't think we would be in the air if the plane was this iced over. Uh, Scott Quartachi, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Is that engine on? Huh. That's, that's, that's a bug. Yeah, those engines should be actually liquid. Mickey Travis, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blair Family. So that's a bug right there. That's a problem. You see how the engine like is just not moving? It should that should actually be animating, not just on a picture of an engine moving. Barzi, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome to Blue Arrow Family. Is our engines on? Let's just make sure. Oh, oh, oh. No wonder. Uh did I break something? <laughs> Uh, smooth flying. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Area family. Uh, maybe I switched cameras too many times. Huh. That's a problem. Right? Rip. I just found a bug, guys. Alright, so now the engines are moving. Alright, so I don't know what I did. I fixed that problem. And uh, for some reason, our our people ain't got no cameras. I mean, not can Okay, now it's working. What the heck was that? You guys saw that, right? It wasn't just me. All, everything was black. Every single knob was blacked out. All right, let's just take it easy then. Let's stop moving the camera around so much. We're going to chill out. Uh, Wells2002, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Thank you for the sub, man. What type of monitor am I using? I have a 1080p monitor um, by AOC. I don't, I don't know if it's like anybody else specific than that. It's an AOC 1080p monitor. Pretty basic, honestly. Whenever I got my computer built, like the the cheapest thing I could get was the monitor, or I should say, the cheapest thing I I did was the monitor on everything. I kind of cut it short there. That's what I thought too. I thought that I iced the engine myself. Thrust levers are missing. No, they're there now. <laughs> they're there now. Akara, aka Random Stuff Five. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Royal Family. Good to see you. All right, let's go outside again. It's working now. But man, guys, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Look at her. This is it. I have been waiting a long time to show you guys this, and it is finally here. I'm super. I don't know if I want to say excited anymore because we're here. Like this is it. I'm excited to be here, man, and, and, and streaming it, uh, playing it, flying with you guys. We got a few guys here with us in the flight. Uh, I think they're both ahead of me. I took my sweet time getting out, but what do you guys think? Hammer engine woke to the stream. Good to see. The flight is two hours long. Are you serious? Oh my god, look at that. It's just so many layers of clouds, man. Incredible. I mean, I'm, we're not even seeing the scenery. The scenery is like way over there. I'm hoping that this will clear up before we get down there. This is gorgeous. Alright, we're going to turn that, turn that guy off. <laughs> no ATC for us. Let's see, can I? I can't do anything. 
Alright, well, he, he might be in our ear yelling at us, so just ignore him. Uh, am I going to go to the 3000 series NVIDIA GPU? Most likely not. I have a 1080 Ti right now. Uh, if you guys want to know what my specs are, type in exclamation mark specs in, either in the YouTube or the Twitch chat. And um, Nightbot should give you my specs there. It's also in the description down there if you're watching on YouTube. But um, no, I'm not really planning on it. Uh, 1080 Ti is a, still a pretty good graphics card. And I'm just really not trying to upgrade yet. Like, I, haven't, I don't see a reason to. I don't think it's... For me, it's not really worth it yet. Yeah, there's loads of, uh, there's a lot of bugs with Microsoft so far already, um, but I'm sure they'll be smashing them throughout the week. Uh, one of the things people are requesting are contrails, which there are none yet. As you can see here, there is like, you know, obviously that smoke is kind of pushing back there, but there's no controls. That's a feature rather than a, a bug, uh, as well as tire smoke. A lot of those basic things, uh, replay mode, again, there's no replay mode in sim right now, but they do have plans on adding it. I think they're working on it. I, I'm pretty sure that the issue with the replay mode is probably, si oh, I just hit the rotor pedal, uh, probably similar to like what some other people have had issues with, and that's syncing replays with other uh, multiplayer you know, because if you think about it, like X-Plane, uh, P3D, like some of those, they don't really have a um, a native multiplayer system, like, like a legit native multiplayer system. So to have a multiplayer system and still allow replay mode within multiplayer, they have to figure out a way to make that work, you know, so that when you do maybe have a, a replay mode, and this is, I'm not quoting them, I'm just thinking of some of the issues that they could probably deal with, um, but they have to be able to capture those not only maybe AI planes, but also the multiplayer planes, like your friends. When you're flying with your friends, you go go in replay mode. You want to actually see them in your replay, and not just have a replay mode where it's just you and you're flying in formation and some extras. And then whenever you watch the replay, it's just you by yourself. So I don't know. I'm just you know kind of contemplating on what they could be dealing with. Airbus three two zero, please expedite your climb to flight level three eight zero. That is crazy. So to think that the 3000 G, uh, GPUs can double the 1080 Ti's, that's pretty crazy. Central, is there a front camera of the plane? What do you mean, front camera? Again, guys, if you just joined us, we are doing a contest to fly to your, to your house, city, neighborhood. You can type in exclamation mark, my house, and we'll be flying there um, after this flight. Um, I wish I knew how long we had left in this flight, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, I can't go to the cockpit though. I like I like doing this and coming in here to get some screenshots of the actual pilots themselves. Look at that window. Look at the detail on that window. Look at the ice as well. Look at that man. One thing I noticed, guys, is it makes me interested in how they're gonna do liveries. So check this out. As I get closer and closer to this uh, Airbus livery. Look how it never actually pixelates. If you think about X-Plane, P3D, whenever you're uh, you know, making a livery or you're in a plane and whenever you get closer to it, it gets more blurry. Well, my question is how the heck are they able to make a livery that never goes blurry? Like, look me, look when I get closer to this, um, to this number, it stays crisp. So that's what leads me to wonder, like how are, um, Delivery is going to work. Like, are they still just going to be Photoshop, JPEG, or PNG files, whichever you use? Uh, or is it going to be some other special file that does it, that rescales? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, because I know that vector images uh, allow you to basically scale anything to as big as you want and it never, never pixelates. That's the only way I can think that could be done, but I'm wondering how that file, what that file type is. Probably maybe like an SVG or something. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I think it's pretty cool. I noticed that a while back. I was like, this is pretty cool that you can get this close. Look how close we are. Look how close we are. I guess nuts. So, yeah, wondering. And another thing, if uh, we haven't got any more liveries, like, this is it. Like, I would not be flying the Neo livery if I, if I didn't have to. But there are no, uh, no liveries in-game by default. So I'm not sure if they're going to add those into the marketplace. Um, 
if they're going to be on a forum somewhere where we download deliveries. I don't know, but we definitely need them because I know we're all going to get tired of flying these house deliveries. That is for sure. Can I turn up the sound? Yeah. If this is quiet, I can turn it up. There we go. And we'll turn on some music. As we fly. There we go, baby. What's up, guys? If you just joined us, welcome back to the stream. It's your boy, Blue. And today is the Microsoft Flight Simulator release party. You are listening to Blue Arrow Radio on FM 116. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a thing. People are absolutely going to be adding liveries, custom ones. Trust me, as soon as I get access to like some kind of paint kit, you'll see some Blue Arrow liveries out here. Let me change something real quick. So check this out. So I'm going to go to um, cameras, showcase camera, focus mode, auto. And I will slow the speed down. You can already see what it's doing. So look at that. That's auto focus right there. I can't wait to make videos with this. <laughs> Even here, like, look at these words. And how they never pixelate, like these tiny words. That's pretty darn cool. Uh, there is no release date yet for uh, Xbox, sadly. It will be on Xbox, there's just no release date yet. That's what they say. A lot of cool things you can do with this camera. Like, I just think about a lot of liveries that you see, like on X-Plane, like stuff like this. They're there, but they get kind of pixelated. Oh my god, I'm lost. Okay, there we go. <laughs> We're getting dizzy. Oh, it is very cold. It's very cold out here in New Zealand right now. Oh okay, yeah, those are the uh, landing lights. I wonder if I hit retract, if they actually go up. Let's go see. So if I hit uh, retract... Huh, I don't think it worked. Oh, it did. Look at that. It went in. The same with the other side, too, I'm assuming. Yep, that's cool. So, I know a lot of people are complaining about what the plane doesn't do. There's still a lot of things that it does do. We are 33,000 feet up right now. It might go higher. Like 37. Flying to Queenstown, baby. Tomorrow, we'll be flying to 787. So definitely come back for that. I don't want to reveal what we're flying to yet. I want to keep it a secret. But it's going to be a lot of fun. That's all I'm going to say. Aziz, arrival time. I honestly don't know. Let's take a look at the uh, VFR map. Still new to the sim, so figuring out how to, you know, look at how long we got so we can see this is our map. This is Queenstown down here. And we're, it looks like we're like halfway. Ah, well, no, not quite. A lot of uh, weather out here. I really wish we could actually see New Zealand, you know what I mean? 
car, no pro. We go apart fast. About to make a left turn in a little while. And it's gonna take us direct down back to the island. Uh, no, I don't have any more news about the uh, PMDG 737. Other than that, other than that, it's coming, and probably like sometime 2021, I think, or late 2020. But they have not confirmed anything about release dates. All right, see what our options are up here. Uh, we got fixed cameras. That's what I wanted to do, actually. Let's go to external one, external two, external three, external four. Five, six, seven. This view is pretty pointless in my opinion. Uh, eight, nine, and ten. And so if you have track IR, you can actually use your head to move around. Um, if you don't have track IR, you sadly cannot move the fixed cameras. I hope they change that. Let's leave it in here for a little while. This is real chill in here. I like it. Uh, ATC information for my plane uh, oh, my call I actually didn't set a call sign so I'm using the default call sign I forgot to change it oh, let's do something like that we're iced up <laughs> we iced up guys oh my god yeah I, I agree I think the ice is a little oh not just a little I think the ice is exaggerated um, I think we're definitely too iced I'll say this though like through testing it was worse it was more than this and we have anti-ice on as you noticed there's no ice on the actual leading edges of the plane so these areas right here are all clean uh, if i turn off anti-ice we'll probably we might start icing here again but the, i think it's just not warm enough for the rest of this ice to uh to melt it seems like i feel like it should have melted by now let's see do we have a temperature in here somewhere right now we have a headwind uh coming from 225 at three knots which is actually not too bad at all uh, ground speed is 472, true airspeed 474. Uh, that's our time. So it's telling us we're, for, uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so 48 mi nautical miles from Gallup. And we're actually 10 minutes away from, or 11 minutes away from that. Actually, I think that's what that means. Is that right? It's not counting down. I think it's, I think it's a time to next waypoint. I don't know how to change it to like time to destination. But um, as far as the cockpit, though, we haven't really talked much about the cockpit. I mean, it looks like an Airbus cockpit. <laughs> I've always kind of complained that I thought that the textures looked a little bit too clean, you know? I mean, other than the window uh, having little scratches on it, there's really not a lot of uh, character put into some of these planes. By, by character, I mean like little scratches, smudges, dirt scratches, stuff like that around interior and out, outside of the plane. but. I do think the modeling and texturing obviously are pretty are very good. I am, I'm looking forward to what third parties would do. I know there's gonna be some third parties that are gonna come out and, and make some adjustments and changes to some of these planes. I'm pretty sure we'll see those pop up on the forums anytime, anytime. Uh, mess crew, I'm, uh, I got the installation from Microsoft. That's where I originally pre-ordered it and I went ahead and stuck with that. I was thinking about switching to Steam. How did it go for you guys who uh, downloaded on Steam? Did you have any issues with installation? any problems I mean, my only issue with uh microsoft was it just took freaking forever it took 10 hours and again that's not an exaggeration at all <laughs> i wish it was but it's not yeah pmdg is pretty good at that so looking forward to them and some other uh third-party developers who are going to be developing planes uh, right now in the marketplace there's only one plane available and that's the cessna 182 skylane uh, made by carinado and then there's a few um, uh, sceneries that are out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait on scenery for a while and enjoy the base game. Andrew gave me, thank you, my friend, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, let's go back to the other view, the uh, other wing view. Where is it at? Camera. There it is. External 12. And yeah, we'll leave it there. Let's see what other options we have up here. We have uh, basic controls. So this will actually tell me. Oh, that's that's cool. So it actually shows me my control. <laughs> and I guess it's supposed to tell me what it does. I'm not sure what that what that does. So again, it's in my rotor pedals. And this is the TCA side stick I'm using. Jay Good, what's up, man? Thank you for the subscription. 
Welcome to Blu-ray family. Good to see you. Right, so we got an ATC menu, camera menu. Dang, man, Priest, you're downloading the game crash six times during the update. Anyone else experience this? I have a pretty modern computer. I'm pretty sure yes, because uh, there's another guy that I know who I was talking to in chat earlier. I mean, in Discord earlier, who had uh, multiple issues, multiple crashes during install. In Entero, Ve Veludo, what's up? And welcome to the Blue Games. <laughs> Royal, sorry, Blue Air Royal family. My mind is all over the place today. I'm so excited. No chemtrails, no sir. Don't I know downloading TikTok, TikTok. I'm telling you, I actually fell asleep early last night, and then I woke up at 12:30 midnight, and I was like, oh snap, I need to go download this game. So I went ahead, got out of bed, went and downloaded, or started to download, went back to sleep. <laughs> so I let it go overnight. So this is pretty cool. So this is a nav log right here. Uh, we actually forgot to set the stopwatch, which is, uh, you know, that's nothing new for me. I always forget to stop, hit the watch. These are all of our waypoints, just as we would see them in the FMC. Uh, it shows our distance in between each waypoint, as well as the time that it would take us to get between each waypoint. So I think right now we're getting to Gallet. Um, and then after Gallet is actually a pretty long gap. Which I'm not sure if it's a 298 or it's a 200. I think it's a 298. Yes, yeah, 298. 298 nautical miles. Be about 39 minutes. So close that. Hey, hold on. Does that say ETE on it? 2311. That can't be right. Yeah, the, the total distance is 631 miles. Yeah, I don't get what this ETE is trying to tell me. Is that the time of day it's going to be? I don't know. I don't understand that screen. Yeah, mine took 10 hours. <laughs> I'm glad it's over with. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about uh, the next update and how long that's going to take. Something else that you can do, guys, um, and it doesn't really work great, but this right here says travel to... So you can see you can see our plane as I scroll around here. You see it, it places my aircraft, so I can place my aircraft at the descent point or where the sim thinks my descent point is, which is not actually accurate. I want to point that out there. So if you put click on descent, it's not always really exactly where you want to be. It would probably be more over here somewhere. Uh, if you click on approach or final, it'll put you right on freaking final. So be ready. Um, but if you didn't want to do an entire flight, you could take off, go to the travel to page, which is again the uh, little GPS icon. And then click on any of the stages of flight and it'll, it'll teleport you there and you can continue your flight from that location so like if you have like a long long haul you're doing uh, or anything you know and you just maybe don't have time to finish uh, you can do look at those clouds down there guys oh my god oh my god all right making a left turn in gallet now flying over the storms over new zealand Simples, you've been sub for two years, bro. Well, thank you very much, my friend, for being here and hanging out with me, man. Being a supporter for two years, that's amazing. Yo, Ron, what's up, man? Let's go, yes, sir. Finally here. Finally here. Yes, you do need to uh, update your NVIDIA driver, so make sure you do that before you start installing or it will not um, install correctly. Um, I don't, I have not tried time acceleration. Uh, I know they have the teleport, but I have not tried time uh, acceleration. There is a slew mode where you could, like, I guess, slew your plane somehow. I haven't tried that either. Um, I don't typically use those features, um, but I do believe it is in-game. I just have to find out what the uh, the button mapping is for it. Uh, no, fl no helicopters right now in the flight sim. None. But uh, they do have plans on adding them, and hopefully some third-party developers will also make them. I'm looking forward to helicopters because I, you know, I like flying helicopters. Um, but I feel like the scenery is just so pretty uh, and beautiful out here that you just really need <laughs> helicopters to appreciate them. You know what I mean? Uh, Chris Harris, what's up, man? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow Family. I appreciate that. Thanks for coming through and stopping by. Here you can change the weather. We're not going to do that. Um, but we're using live weather right now. That's why the weather is so crappy. But we're running live weather with a different time. We could change it if we wanted to. I think if I click here. Yep, there we go. Wait, this is oh snap. What did I do? I don't know what I did. Is this the is this the actual time of day? This can't be right. I don't know. We'll change it back to where it was. 
was like 11 something. Yeah, I don't know what I did, but you can make uh, presets. Go down here, there's clear skies. A few clouds. Thank you, Streaming Gold Beast, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blurry Family. Uh, what else we got in here? Scattered. I'm not getting any kind of frame drop or anything. Like, it's doing it pretty smoothly. Loading in these presets. Broken. You can see the wing, the wing flex as well. It's kind of bouncing around because as I change the, uh, you know, the time and all that stuff. Sorry, the, uh, the situation. Obviously, the, the wind is going to change as we do that. So it's kind of rocking the plane around, which is very uncomfortable for the plane. High level, sorry, high level clouds. So I mean, they're very, we're high already. We're at 33,000. So they're just up here. So again, we're over the water right now. Not much to see. Overcast. Very similar to what we were in just now in the live weather situation. Rain. We won't see that. Snow. Storm. Oh my god, look at that. Ah, Rodrigo, what's up, man? Welcome to the street. Let me see what that looks like from the outside. Yeah, it looks nasty out there, don't it? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that was lightning. You see that? Wait for it, wait for it. Let's see some lightning in a second. It came from, I'm pointing with my finger. It came from over here, last time I saw it. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's so dope! Alright, that's Storm. Thankfully we're not flying in that. Back to live. Oh, another one. Lightning strikes. Alright. Oh my god. You got it. You got it, Airbus. You can do it. I'm sorry. I know this is not normal. <laughs> Alright, back to our wing view. So yeah, that's that's the presets. And you can also, you know, obviously uh, do a custom one too. And change the weather if you want to change it to. Um, so I'm still kind of um, mapping everything and moving, changing everything as I'm, I just installed it today. Still mapping buttons, um, preferences. So things that I usually turn off are uh, the basic controls. I don't need that. Um, fuel, I do kind of need that, but I don't at the same time. Usually I set it up in the main screen, but we'll leave it there for now. Navlog, we'll leave it. Objectives, I'll t uh, we'll turn it off. Uh oh, did I get rid of it? At least for, for this flight, we'll turn it off. Travel 2, I don't use that either. Turn that off. Objectives will turn it off. Uh, weather will leave that on, and as you can see, now we have a, a lot more compressed, smaller uh, little screen up there. I wish that we can get rid of this white thing, like for good, the little white arrow, but it stays up there. Whenever you move your mouse, it moves around. So at the end, yeah, you can make it. Uh, if you switch to snow, if we were on the ground, we would actually see the ground be covered with snow, and it would be snowing. So. It's actually pretty cool. Obviously from up here we wouldn't see anything, but if we were on the ground and it was snowing, we'd actually see the snow on the ground, which is pretty sweet. Uh, flanks, there are no liveries at the moment. All right, I had to get a drink of water. <laughs> um, NVIDIA card. I have a, um, uh, I have the NVIDIA 1080 Ti, whatever it's called. Again, if you want my specs, type in exclamation mark, specs. Nightbot will give you those specs. As well, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, my specs will be in the description of this video, as well as all of my setup is in there. All the links are in there. Look at that. Actually, if you look close, I think, I'm not sure. It looks like there's water reflecting off of that cloud down there. I'm not sure what that little glow is. I'll say this much. Whenever flying over overcast or really bad weather, it makes it a little bit, a little bit little more interesting. You can see, um, if you guys were here at the beginning of the stream and saw when we were doing the planning, it was a massive, like, just storm of clouds over here where we're flying right now. And then off to the west, it kind of cleared up just like it does. And off to the left, there's a bit more clouds. So you can see there's a bit variant variation of what the clouds look like. Is OBS struggling? Is it? Oh, no. No, it's been doing okay. We actually have not dropped a single frame. I'm actually very proud of OBS. We have not dropped a single frame since we started today. I'm really looking forward to the uh, fly to your house segment today because it's going to make me fly to some places that I would never have thought to fly to 
And if you're wondering what that's all about, after this flight to uh, Queenstown, New Zealand, we'll be going out to uh, basically your request. So we'll do a, uh, a random draw uh, of names of people who are here in chat. You just got to type in exclamation mark my house. And that'll enter you into the contest. And then whoever wins gets to choose basically what they want to see, where they want to fly. And that's what we'll do. It'll be VFR. We're just going to hop in something small, a little GA plane, and uh, do some uh, flying around the area. Check it out. And we'll do something similar tomorrow as well. Uh, we'll be doing a IFR flight, and then after the IFR flight, we'll be doing some uh, VFR by request. So it'll be pretty fun. So if you have somewhere specific you want me to fly to, just go ahead and type in my house, or exclamation mark, my house in the chat to be entered into that contest. And we won't have any giveaways today, but tomorrow I do plan on giving away a few Game Pass subscriptions. Beautiful man, jeez. I could look out there all day. I could look out there all freaking day. We still have a bit of a ways to go though, guys. About halfway through our flight, I would say. About 30, probably 30, 35 minutes out. Something like that. That's a, that's a wild guess though. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Let's go to our flight plan. OM Share. There's your shout out. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. This is the regular external camera. Oh my god. You know what? I need to just put it on the camera and leave it there. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at everything. There's so much to look at. So much to look at. <laughs> I can't. I can't choose a camera. I'm just freaking rotating everywhere. Streaming go beast, go beast. You've been, you've been downloading for 13 hours, man. Man, it'll be over soon, my friend. <laughs> it'll be over soon. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the downloader, man. Like, there's got to be a better way. Like, I know it's a big game. I mean, you think about it. It's like a game that features the entire world. I'm not sure exactly what all we're downloading because I know that we're streaming. The, uh, the scenery to us. So I'm not exactly sure exactly what we're da downloading in the Microsoft Flight Simulator base package that takes up so much space. I'm not really sure what is in there. But it's got to be a better way, right, of distributing um, so much content, you know? Um, it's got to be. Honestly, I shouldn't. And it's crazy. Some people, though, who was that? Yoshi Coder, it only took you two hours. Like, I'm freaking jealous of you guys. Because uh, another person I talked to, it took them like three or, I think, like, I think it was like two, three or four hours. One person I heard was 45 minutes, which was crazy. So I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I guess it is dependent on your speed or what, whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure. One thing I was really concerned about because I let I let mine go overnight, I was I was worried that it would freeze up right in the middle of, of uh, the install, which a lot of people were having that issue. A lot of people were having an issue of uh, of it freezing up or crashing in the middle of the download process. Gavin Daly says almost 13k. Really now? Well, guys, let's make it happen. <laughs> let's make it happen. I know we're not that far out. So this could be our 13 week, our 13,000 sub special. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyways, either way, guys, I just want to say thank you for sure, you know, for all the subs and views. Not everybody who watches are subscribers. I understand that. And I'm actually okay with it. Um, matter of fact, the mo most of the people who watch my videos are not subscribers. Vishal, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow family. Appreciate that, guys. The road or the airway to 13K today is going down. But yeah, so I, I last night again. I woke up at the middle of the night. Uh, I set my my computer to download Microsoft Flight Simulator, and uh, and then I went back to sleep. So I let it go. Uh, I went to bed, came back five six hours later, um, and it was still like halfway. And I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" 
Um, but the main thing I was concerned about was it was it actually crashing. So I'm glad that it at least didn't crash. It was slow, but it didn't crash. So I'm, I am I have to say I'm thankful about that part. F1, sh what's up, man? Do a nosedive. Not today, my friend. Wait till later. Actually, you know what? We probably will do one today, just not in this particular flight. Bad drivers of the NorCal area, man. There's a lot of you. How many of you guys are in that? <laughs> Thank you for the subscription, though. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Uh, Pope, there are star approaches. MJ, what's up? Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. Yeah, there are um, there's stars and sits. Um, just depends on what airport you're flying to. Some airports don't have stars. So that's just the way it is. Licorice, what's up? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family, guys. Thank you very, very much. Let me get you guys a motivational quote of the day. Something to leave you with. Something I doubt you'll get from any other channel. There's a little bit of motivation. Thank you, Benedict White. Welcome, and thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Thank you guys very much for your continued support. Absolutely, man. It's been an honor. It's been an honor. Testing Jets, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome to the Blue Arrow Royal family. Good to see you. I love that guy. I love that gif. I love that gif. If you guys didn't recognize it, it comes from Soul Plane. If you haven't seen that movie, you should watch it if you're old enough to watch it. <laughs> All right, where are my notes at with my oh my quotes? Bum, bum, bum. There it is. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we got today. Oh, I like this. All right, here it is, guys. Here it is. Here it is. I think this is. I think this is very re relevant too for today because, as we know, Microsoft Flight Simulator is is very. It's a lot of. I wouldn't say drama, but controversy surrounding Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not because, not so much because of the game itself, but a lot of people, are, you know, you know, saying is it a game? Is it a sim? You know, uh, today is a horrible release. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of reviews, mixed reviews about the game, right? Um, but I think this works because it's talking about, you know, being positive versus being negative and seeing the positive in things, right? So today's motivational quote of the day is positive thinking won't let you do anything, but it will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. That makes you think, right? You're like, huh? Brain twister. Positive thinking won't let you do anything, but it will let you do everything better than negative thinking will think about that I'll leave you with that today's motivational quote of the day you know we always bring in gaming and motivation I don't know if I did my Spanish lesson today <laughs> amen to that yes sir yes sir yeah man I can't wait for liveries um, I know we're gonna get it um, there's a lot of things again this is day one um, sadly most people uh, regular people uh, didn't get access to an SDK or anything like that. Jacob Cooper VFX, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow Family. Um, and then a lot of things were hidden up until today, right? So now we have the game. Now we have the SDK. Uh, oh snap! Hard, what's up? For doing this stream. No problem. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for the super chat donation. Greatly appreciate that. Greatly, greatly appreciate that. Um, but what was that? You made me lose my dang train of thought. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely download that driver. Wow, why is my... <laughs> why is it... Why is it that way? I see Assassin. What's up, TUL Aviation? Good to see you. What was I talking about? I completely forgot what I was going to say. Completely forgot what I was going to say. Uh, ETA on when it will be compatible with VR. I believe in what a month or two. It's supposed to be compatible with with a specific VR headset. Not all of them, but a specific one. I think it's the HP. There's a new HP headset coming out, or it's out. I think I'm not sure. Uh, it'll be supporting that one and only that one. And then I'm assuming shortly after uh, we'll get the other. Look at this reflection. Check this out. That is sexy. That is sexy. The Chill Viking. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, guys. Bon voyage. All right, let's go take a, let's go take a look at Cynthia, our co-pilot. 
Come on, let me in. Let me in. The drone camera doesn't actually like fix itself to the camera, so if the if the plane is moving around, the drone is like steady. You know what I mean? So the drone is not actually moving; it's the the plane that's actually rocking in the wind, which makes it difficult to have fixed cameras inside the cockpit or anything like that. Oh, I like this view too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. That's sick. Let's leave it there for a little while. If I can get to stay focused. There we go. Rainbow Six Blitz. Hello, first time watching this channel. What is it that you do here? So right now we're doing flight simulators. Uh, we do a lot of that actually. So if you're interested in flight simulators, then stick around. Uh, I also play other games like train simulator, uh, racing simulators, mostly simulators of different types. <laughs> so if you're interested in racing, Formula One racing, NASCAR racing, street racing, any kind of racing, Forza, whatever. Uh, I don't do a lot of Forza streams, but I do play the game and I stream it from time to time. Um, and in train simulator, like I said, uh, hunting as well. I mean, again, if it's a simulator, I probably have played it on the channel. But mostly, honestly, the most things we do is, is flight sim, uh, racing, and a little bit of trains here and there. So if any of that floats your boat, then it'd be good to see you back. Gaming tutorial, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Having a good day so far, man. I cannot complain. I really wanted to get started streaming earlier, but just the download it wasn't, you know, it took too long. I couldn't get it out. Uh, there is no release date yet on Xbox. Sorry. I don't know. I just like this view. I love watching them, like, look around and pretend like they're doing stuff. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Oh, boy. Ah, I, can't, I need to... So, what I need to do, if you ever have a problem where, like, your drone camera just moves a little too much, you can go to the camera and actually adjust how fast it moves around. Uh, Buzzy5567, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad to have you. So, it's going to be drone speed. Not the drone rotation, but the actual speed. It's at 1.6. It's kind of hard to get it lower. But if you can, you can do it. Dutch Sapphire, welcome to the stream. Oh, no. Oh, no. There it is, 0. 0.8. That should be better. There we go. All right, now we're now we making sense. Now we're making sense. Gaming Tutorials, what's up, man? Thank you so much for that subscription. Welcome to the Blue Warrior family. Thank you for checking us out, man. Hopefully you enjoy what you see. Going up. Gio, what's up in the building? Everybody say congratulations to my man, Captain Gio. His wife just had a baby. Matthew Enchanting, World Eng Eng England Mapper. Thank you as well for the subscription. Um, I think Gio's going to have a flight sim baby. Because uh, his baby came out on the same day as Microsoft Flight Simulator. Trojan Horse, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Royal family as well. Stefan 8. That ice looks nice, but uh, I, I, I do feel that it's a little exaggerated, personally. Personally. Skyhawk. Alright, so your rudders are still not responding. Uh, and your throttles are not either? Once we land, um, I can show you the my control setup. Anaholic, what's up? And an anon anonymous anaholic. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Air Royal Family. I do appreciate that, my friend. I right, turn it down. Captain K, what's up, man? Good to see you. And uh, yeah, man, Gio, congratulations, bro, on the new baby. And uh, hopefully you still can hang out with us from time to time. I know you're gonna be pretty busy. I should play Flightline and Roblox. It's pretty good. I've actually, I think I saw somebody play it the other day, and I was like, this is actually not as bad as I thought it'd be. Alonzo, we'll see, my friend. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Thank you, H2K. Appreciate that, man. I do appreciate you supporting the channel for so long, man. Mangesh, hello from India. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Let's get us a little bit of a cinematic fly down the fuselage we'll take a closer look since we're flying for a little bit of a longer flight gonna look at it look at the rivets look at the rivets rivet rivet I want that ice to go away I mean I'm not gonna lie I want the ice to go away anybody in chat know what all these things do I know what they do but I want to know if you guys know what they do 
Is it aerodynamics or is it an antenna? I want to know how smart you guys are out there in the chat. Man, look at that. Horizontal stabilizer. I'm sorry, the vertical stabilizer is all ice stuff, man. Again, we have the anti-ice on, but I think it's only going to apply to the leading edge, that silver part. And uh, you can see there's a little bit on there, but it's not that bad. There's also some on the bottom as well. Uh, I think I did turn the APU off, so the APU should, flap should be closed. Not sure if it even simulates that. I'm all up in this plane. Look at this. <laughs> I am all up in this plane's business right now. You gotta take a close look at these, man. You know me, guys. I look at... What, was that a plane? Is that the moon? That's the moon. Something, I don't know what that is. A star? Chemtrail dispenser. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. Welcome back, Kishan. Yeah, some on the bottom as well. We actually forgot to do our walk around before the flight started. My bad. We'll do it tomorrow in a 787. We'll find a 787 tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that for sure. All right, another quiz. A lot of you guys actually got that right. I believe that is an antenna up there. What about this? What is this little hole? These two holes right here. The sauce is hot. What's up? Welcome to the stream, man. We are heading to... Uh, we took off in Auckland, New Zealand. And we're flying to um, uh, Queenstown. Again, look at the, the, the look at the, the letters. Check this out. So you see how small these letters are? I'm going to rotate. Don't get dizzy. Don't get dizzy on me. Uh-oh. All right. Now I'm backwards. Oh, God. Now I'm dizzy. Okay. I need to turn around. <laughs> All my things are inverted. Okay. So I just want to show you guys these, these letters. So as I zoom in. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. Come on. Oh my god. All the controls are inverted. Anyway, the point is... Whew, these letters are like perfectly readable. I know it's bouncing around, but they're perfectly readable. Even these tiny little letters. So, very impressed with like how you're able to do that. At such a small detail. Right? How is there so much ex like uh, fidelity to the liveries? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, we're all kind of saying it's, it's vector because they're vector text and vector liveries which means that they scale and they don't pixelate when you zoom in on them um, my question is though how does that affect the livery making process do you have to make deliveries like in in adobe illustrator or something like that and right, so go inside and check on our flight i um, not sure how far out we are from uh, like descending and all that Dang, Lee Ham. Uh, I don't. I don't. I personally can't help you. Sadly, I wish I could uh, feel for you though. You tried everything. You tried the redownload using the administrator. Everything. That's oh, it sucks. Yeah, a lot of people haven't download issues. So don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, mine took 10 hours, so that was my issue. <laughs> it took me 10 hours to download this freaking game. Uh, but it's here now. So uh, the developers, everybody working through all those problems. So hold tight. You'll get in. We'll all get in. Uh, heat. Yeah, hopefully restart. If you restart your sim uh, and you're downloading, it'll actually restart from where you left off. So if you have to restart in the middle of downloading, don't worry. It'll be able to start from where you left off so that you won't lose your progress. All right, here's our top of the scent right here. See that little white arrow that points down right at the 40 mile mark? Um, that's our top of the scent, so we'll start descending there. And what I'll do is I'll actually set our altitude to 5,000. And it's not gonna activate until 
Uh oh, it's already activating. Never mind. Go back to 33. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to activate, but it did. That's not. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Your game download took five hours. That's pretty good. Compared to me, anyway. Honestly, I think. I mean, it shouldn't have taken. It should have taken, like. Maybe an hour, two hours, three hours max. So, ten hours, five hours, that's way too much to download a game. But, yeah, it's a pretty big. I mean, my, the game download was, what is it, 96? Like 96 gigabytes to download? Something like that. Uh, can you play this with the Intel i3? I'm not sure. Anybody in chat know if he could play Microsoft Flight Simulator with the i3? Yeah, there is a threshold video about specs. So there's a few videos on the YouTube that a few people have posted about um, the specs, recommended specs, and different things like that. Right now, we're running on ultra settings, so I might need to turn it down. At the moment, it seems to be okay. I mean, as you can see, if you're watching, it's pretty smooth on my screen. But, um... I'm not, again, I'm not sure. Alright, so I5 is minimum, they're saying. Yeah, I might want to upgrade to an I5 or something like that. But right now, I'm running ultra settings. Again, you have my my specs in the YouTube description, or you can type in exclamation marks uh, specs if you want to see it on Twitch. And uh, I mean, in, in testing, I've had to turn my settings down a little bit. Right now, I'm running ultra. I've had to turn it down to high from time to time in certain areas. Right now, we're flying over water, <laughs> right? Uh, so it's not really a big issue for me. But if we were flying through this, these exact same conditions with like the weather like it is, look at that that hole in the water. Wow, I think, I think that's a reflection. That is a freaking reflection, I think. I'm not sure, but I think that was a reflection down there. Either that or it was a, a lower level of clouds. Either way, I looked amazing. A little hole right there in the clouds. Pretty sweet. But if I was flying like in New York or somewhere that has a ton of scenery, uh, I may need to turn my, my settings down. Again, I'm just installing the, the release version, so I'm not sure completely yet. I still got some tuning to do. So we'll be working on that throughout today's stream. And at, after the stream is over, I'll be working at, on that off stream as well. If you guys want our Discord, you can type in exclamation mark Discord as well and get that link. Uh, we do uh, quite a few streams on Discord only where we just stream in the voice channel and hang out and stuff like that. So if you guys are looking for a group of people to fly with uh, or chat with or stream with or whatever, come and join the Discord channel for uh, more multiplayer Microsoft Flight Simulator flights. We also play X-Plane. Uh, we play Formula One. We play Star Citizen. Uh, we play train simulators, we play hunting, I mean, we play a lot of different things, so come through. Just gorgeous, man. Oh my god, can you believe we're playing, can you guys believe we're playing Microsoft Flight Simulator right now? It's here. I remember just like a week ago, we were talking about how close we were, but now we are in the sim, like I'm actually here, I'm streaming. Right now, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Alright, top of the sim's coming up. Right now, down to 5,000 we go. And you can see now that uh, I've hit the top of the descent. It's starting to descend. I don't know if it's going to descend with it. So we'll kind of watch it. If it doesn't really follow the descent plan, we'll... Yeah, it's not really following it. So we're going to... We're going to hit uh, engage. Hold on. Engage. Is that working? Nope, not that one. That's not the one I want. You don't want OP. OP is gonna like freaking kill you. Alright, what about that one? There we go. So DES, now it's descending. It should descend via the VNAV, uh, the vertical navigation, but we'll have to see. We're still testing this. Like, we're basically still alpha testing this. Because I don't know. I think this, this game still has a long way to go. So if you bought this game, you're getting into it, you know, just kind of be prepared to have bugs, be prepared for it to not really do everything that you may expect it to do. Because it's, it's definitely not complete i don't think in my opinion there's still things that needs to be done um things need to be added i mean it's flyable um at least for me so far but expect to have some bugs expect for it to have some missing features uh have patience with it for sure bro imagine dcs with these textures i know 
I know, I know. I hope that they do someday. I mean, they, they kind of mentioned, they did, DCS were a matter of fact, I forgot to mention, we do DCS as well. Uh, DCS had a Q&A the other day as we dive into the clouds again uh, about people, you know, what, what, were their, what were their thoughts on Microsoft Flight Simulator? And what did they want to do in the future? You know, do they want, I know they're already upgrading their clouds. Um, they're not really looking into doing a whole world map. They're still kind of doing the whole like, you know, different maps like Persian Gulf, Syria, Russia, Nevada, whatever. But it'd be nice if we could just, you know, I don't know. I, I, I have to say, I'm because I have DCS World, I don't fly a lot of fighter jets on flight simulators. But if there were one that was good enough, you know, in quality wise, I might try it out because I think that it would actually be a lot of fun to fly fighter jets on Microsoft Flight Simulator. My other thought though and question, you know, as we're now in release and kind of seeing things like in the marketplace, like how in multiplayer, how do the like pay where planes show up show up? So like if if you buy a Cessna 182 Skyline from Carnado and I'm in an A320 and I don't own it, right? I don't own a 182. Captain, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Array Family Man. Good to see you. Welcome aboard. Um, how does that work? Am I going to see them in a generic Cessna 172 or what? Oh, God, what is going on? Back in the clouds we go. Anti-ice is on. And our plane is killing us. Oh, my God. I'm just going to let it do what it do. Let's just see. Oh, my God, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Jang Mang, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. I see a few people just joining us again. Again, we're doing the uh, f a feature of a uh, flight over your house feature. Uh, if you want us to fly over your house, type in exclamation mark my house and we'll pick a random house or a person to fly over their house or in their city, wherever you want us to fly to. Wow, getting into these clouds, it's getting dark. Holy crap, it's dark. Chill Viking says I hit 13,000. Wow, nice. It'd be nice if I got a notification <laughs> when that kind of thing happens. Well, thank you guys very much. For real, like, thank you so much. That means a lot. Thank you so much for helping me get to 13,000 subscribers, guys. Cheers to 10,000 more. Wally Crew Cricket, thank you for subscription. Welcome to Blue Arrow Family. So it, it descended like crazy, I think, to catch up with the VNAV profile or something, because now it's chilling out. Uh, you want to start flight simulator content? Do you have any advice? Just do it, bro. Just do it. Like, start now. New game is out. Everybody is really enjoying flying. Uh, you know, checking out a lot of new streamers. A lot of new streamers have come and started streaming flight sim. And uh, we're all kind of checking them out and seeing. Um, so I think this is no better time to start doing flight simulators than now. Or streaming it. So start now. Start. Yeah, let's get involved in the community, man. Swift Ace. Thank you for subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. Yeah, I hope the flaps do work on approach. That would be nice. Might need that. Sorry, I keep zooming in and out. I'm trying to <laughs> scroll through the chat. We're actually just about to hit 1,000 as well on Twitch. So if you guys want to support the Twitch side, we are very close to hitting my first 1,000 followers on Twitch. But thank you guys so much. For, like seriously, thank you so much for helping me hit reach 13,000 on YouTube. That's definitely a milestone every like I really appreciate every single sub all right you know what I'm gonna do um, hopefully it doesn't break anything I'm gonna open up Navigraph yes Navigraph I have Navigraph uh, on a separate screen though you're not gonna you're not, you guys are not gonna see it but I think there is a particular approach flying in the Queen's Town and I want to see what that is because um, I know there's a lot of mountains out here and we might need help, and I don't know that the uh, that this is gonna help us. So N Z Q N. So 
So we're flying. Our star is the uh, what was it? The Udipa? Something like that. Uh, Grant, uh, sorry, uh, Raven, what land runway were we using again? Was it 05, you said? Let me check what you, yeah, okay, 05, Unibus 3 Alpha. Right, I see it. Actually, it might not be anything in the way of that RNAV runway 5. Thank you, Sam! D167, appreciate that so much. Look at that. So now, as we get close to the ground, as we're coming down to 9,000 feet, which is actually our VNAV altitude. Right, now we have 5,000 selected, and we actually need to get slow way the heck down. Right to 250, 240 works. We'll put the speed brakes out. There we go. And you can now see the uh, the mountains we're flying over, over Dovot. So you gotta be careful from here on out, because before here, before, before, before now, I look at rain. <laughs> Do I have wipers in this thing? I don't work. Yeah, I guess the wipers don't work. But anyways, um, yeah, before now we were just flying over water. Now we are flying over land and uh, high land. So we need to watch out. I think as long as we, we follow the, v the the flight plan, we should be okay. Um, but if we see any red on this terrain radar, that means that we're going to die. <laughs> so I'm going to zoom in a little bit to get a better look at this. So we can see we have a little bit of a, we can't really descend too much because that mountain right there. So we don't want to be be careful. I do actually now have the approach chart pulled up, and it's actually gonna fly it just like the chart says, which is pretty darn cool. This is why I wanted to double check it because I didn't trust it was gonna do it correctly, but it looks like it's gonna do it. There's Utica, Avenger, and our approach. So our approach looks just like it does here on this screen. It goes out, down, and around. Beautiful. Only thing that's not beautiful is this rain. <laughs> uh, what airplane are we gonna jump in next? Uh, you know what? I'll. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. I don't know yet. All right, so we're below ten thousand feet again. We need to be two hundred fifty knots or less, and we also wouldn't want our landing lights on. Sorry for the head movement, guys. There we go, and wing lights, and again, we are in icing conditions right now. Uh, I don't know where to see the outside temperature. There it is. All right, so outside, oh wait, where is it? Actually, it doesn't show us. I think it's negative one. Which isn't that cold. I mean, it's cold, but it's not. I've been in colder. That's how I feel, though. I feel looks good. Wait, you know what? I think that might be weather. We have the weather radar on, don't we? That's not the terrain radar. Or is it? Let me see. The weather radar works. It's off right now, I think. Alright, it's like I got a uh, Xbox notification. I got a thingy. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know if this is working. So, I'm not seeing anything. We're just gonna use terrain radar. Yeah, so we're okay. So, we got a little bit of red. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at, look at this. Oh, the speed still out. I forgot <laughs> about that. Alright, speed brakes are gone. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Uh oh, are we? Oh my god. There we go. Look at that. Even on the back, you can see the water going through the windshield, which is really cool. Just infinite flight. We're landing now in Queenstown, New Zealand. Is my plane nosing up? Because if it is. Okay, it's not. Just making sure. Let's turn the speed of the drone a bit faster now that we're kind of like doing other things. 3.2 works. There we go. Boy. Oh boy. So the lights you see that are flashing are actually the uh, nose lights that are actually showing through. So that's not supposed to look like that. Let me turn those off. Let 
Come on. Thank you. Oh my god, you heard that? 1,500. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think we're gonna die. I think we're about to, we're about, oh my god, we're gonna, we're gonna die. Okay. Okay, altitude needs to come up. No! No! We're not dying today. Oh, dead! <laughs> oh my god. And I forgot to turn the crash off. Welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator, everybody. <laughs> F's in the chat. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, that sucks. All right, so we're gonna restart. What sucks is that's gonna send us all the way back to Auckland. Yeah, I was listening. I don't think you, I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard the uh, the ground proximity warning system say 500, 200, 300. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> and I tried to grab my uh, my joystick, but it was too late. It was too late. Nightbot, chill out. Everybody's putting F's in the chat because I died. Horrible. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teleport. We're not gonna do the whole flight again. There's no way. There's no freaking way I'm doing the whole flight again. So I'm gonna teleport to somewhere near the location and attempt it again because I actually want to do the landing in that weather. That weather was actually pretty interesting to fly in. So I want to try doing it again. Um, wow. Ready. All right, it's nighttime again. Oh, I don't want to start the engines though. Uh, la, 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 la. what am I doing? Resume. Weather. All right, there you go, guys. First flight and first crash of my Microsoft Flight Simulator career. All in one take. And then what I'll do is we'll try that travel to feature and see if it actually works. This is gonna be another test to see if this even works. So travel to. Uh oh, okay, here we go. We're getting a little bit of a lag there and i'm gonna go all the way to uh, uh i don't know approach puts me back where we started which is weird i'm gonna do final i'm kind of scared but we're gonna do final and see what happens just be prepared for anything guys be prepared for anything i don't know what's gonna happen i'm not sure where it's gonna put us i don't know where it's gonna put us we gotta be prepared so my hands on the joystick on the side stick my hands on the throttle i'm ready to go Whatever they're gonna throw at me, I'm ready. It's probably gonna put us like right on a short 10 mile final, maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> Raven, did you make it? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, gear out and everything. This is cool. All right, so where are we? Now I get a quick look at where we at. Beautiful though, look at this. Okay, so there's actually decent visibility out here, guys. All right, ready to fly, let's do it. Oh my God, are we falling out of the sky? No, we're good, thank you. Thank you for the for the, for the drop. All right, cool, so our flight plan, everything is still in there. Uh, we're actually right above stall speed. And I'm not 100% sure where we are. Let me look at my flight plan. I think this is supposed to be the final segment. Yeah, this is. Alright, cool. So hold on, guys. I'm actually going to pause. I don't have a button for active pause. There it is. Active pause. Alright, cool. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to turn the music off. And we're going to uh, hopefully enjoy this landing. So here we go, guys. Landing in Queenstown. Uh, let me get my... Okay, that's better yeah that was all over the place all right flaps i think maybe already down we're fast uh do not have visual the runway but i think that is over there so we come over this beautiful lake it's not raining out down here anymore which is good i uh, do the go around procedure eh, i think we've already kind of done that no <laughs> just kidding i think we've already we've been through enough today i don't know, I don't know if we need to go around uh there is a pretty cool go around over here though let me see what it looks like yeah, the go around has us going. Oh my god, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing that today. <laughs> not today. Maybe 
another day we'll feature the Queenstown. I think it, that's it over there. Alright. Give me some more flaps. Land lights should be on. Uh, they are. Over speed. Over You're over speeding. Over speed. Over speed. Yeah, it's because my button is mapped to full flaps instead of one notch of flaps. Over speed. So. Over speed. We're getting a speed under control though. Alright, gear is down. We're just gonna leave them down. Zoom in our map. There's no ILS here, so we'll be flying it by hand. I'm actually going to move the uh, camera up so that I can see a bit better uh, where we're going. All right, I need to get visual, though. I think it's over there. Yes, it is. That's an interesting approach there. All right, we're low. That is so funny. I can't believe it. I mean, I would say I can't believe it, but I can definitely believe that I crashed. I'll show you guys here after we land how to turn that crash screen off. Um, sadly, Microsoft does, doesn't have a like, crash physics. Um, so whenever you actually crash or hit the ground too hard, it just says you crashed. And it's really stupid. Like, I'm really surprised. All right, here we go, guys. Flying over to Queenstown now. Let's take a look at the scenery on the way out, on the way in. I see, I see the runway. That's where we're landing right there. We see those flashy lights right off our nose. Speed looks okay. All right, auto throttle sets to medium. All right, we're ready to land. There it is. We're low. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at those mountains in the background. That's a nice scene right there. All right, here goes. First landing of Microsoft Flight Simulator. What do you guys think? <laughs> I know I've had a pretty bad track record lately, but uh, I mean, if those gamer guys can do it, I can do it. All right, I see two white, two red. And I see another plane actually exiting the runway. Perfect timing. All right, we are high. I like those uh, extended center lines down there. That's pretty cool. We are a bit fast. We're all right. We're all right. Don't worry. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're down. Oh, did we, did we bounce? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yes, we did. That was not good. All right, reversers are out. Reversers are green. And, uh, yeah, that was typical. What I, pretty much what I expected to happen. All right, now, it looks like we got the back taxi. So release those reversers and we'll text to the end and back text. It's like there is an airplane on final. I see some beacon lights coming in, so we may have to actually exit to the runway. I don't know. Is that a plane? I don't know. Is a taxiway here? Oh, there is a taxiway here. All aboard! Thank you. Who was that? Who was that? Frozen Rangy. Thank you for the subscription. Hope to the Royal family. So we're going to back taxi here. And I think, okay, I haven't actually, yeah, those are good. Soul Bounce, that's exactly what that was. I think there's a plane. I see a beacon light. There might be an airport over there. I'm not sure. If we can make this turn. Before anybody else gets here. I see, yep, there is a plane on final. We need to go, 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 go. I think there's either a beacon over there or there's a plane on final. Yeah, actually, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right, we'll go here. Thank you, Florian, for the subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray family. This is a tiny taxiway. Look at this. This can't be right. There's no way. There's no freaking way. Hazel, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blu-ray family. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, look at that. So, uh, citation just landed. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not sure who that was, but pretty dope. Looked like his landing looked just as rough as mine did, but you know. <laughs> it's day one. We got some practice to do. Alright, land lights coming off. Taxi lights coming on. That's the second position. 
and we'll leave the runway turnoffs on and turn off the strobes and the wing lights are gonna come off as well ms thank you for the subscription welcome to blu-ray family well guys i would like to say we made it um but technically we didn't make it we just kind of uh you know reloaded or whatnot there's a tbm down there too did i run him over i didn't see him before oh in the grass it should be able to press c right yeah if you press c while you're in the drone camera it'll actually allow you to move the plane or like control the plane while you're in showcase mode this is a very tiny tax but i don't think this airport is or this taxiway is meant for it there's a tvm taking off now Oh shoot. It's busy out here. Control flight into terrain. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Samsung uh Samsung means to come. I actually just learned about that in uh ground school. Yeah, so I, I heard the warnings, right? I heard, you know, it was said one thousand five hundred. That's the first one I heard. I was like, wait a second. So I went and looked at my terrain map and uh, I should have like immediately disengaged autopilot and pulled up. So I knew that it was possibly going to happen. What I didn't realize was that my um, autopilot was lowering me down to 7,000 feet. We were at 9,000. We were at 9,000. We were in the good. We were good at 9,000. But then it decided, hey, I think you should go to 5,000 feet right now. And yeah, so just watch out for that, guys. Whenever you're using autopilot, there, there are some issues. Um, and apparently it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look at terrain. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure why I did that, but lesson learned that's for sure i'll pay more attention i'm so used to like x plane you know we put a lot of trust into the autopilots you know coming from our, our old sims so can i go this way is there a taxiway over there but that was interesting but yes guys after we um we'll go ahead and park next to the other neo over there is this a is this a runway this is a freaking runway uh, Polar, I believe the plane we just saw take off was a real person, yes. I'm still having trouble... Wow, look at these mountains. I'm still having trouble uh, distinguishing who's real and who's AI, because I do have AI traffic turned on. I just don't know how much of it we're going to see or what they're flying, but I do believe that uh, that those airplanes, that Citation you saw land, as well as the uh, TBM, I think those are real people. But not 100% sure. What up, 360? Good to see you, man. Uh, where's my charts? They're not in-game. Uh, apparently, Navigraph said there's a way to get them in there. I'm not sure if that's been implemented yet, but I don't have the charts in-game. I have the charts on um, on a, a separate screen right now, but I was not really using them. I was just using them as a reference. So I don't think there are jetways here. Um, it looks like there is a spot right next to him on the right, so we'll take that one next to the control tower. Or is it? Yeah, there's one right here. So we'll turn it off. We'll see what the uh, engine shutdown sound sounds like, if any. Hey, hey! Can you teach me how I do the rudder customization throttle and yoke? Yeah, Skyhawk, I got you, bro. I haven't forgot about you, man. But thank you, man, so much for that uh, super chat donation. I do appreciate the XCR tax lights reflecting off of the um, the glass over there. All right, hit the parking brake right there. And shit. There it is, and it was gonna pop this down. Left, right, let's go outside. Pretty freaking cool. Man, this game right here. <laughs> oh man, I'm, oh man, look at this. So cool, so cool, so cool. I'm, I'm sad that we weren't able to do that entire approach. Uh, it was such a, a, a beautiful one, um, but it didn't happen. I also like the fact that when he left, he didn't just like, poop, disappear. Like he faded out. I was like, kind of cool. All right, so, uh, all right, so really quickly, we have a special request to show my, how I set up my rudder pedals. Um, it's pretty simple, so it's not gonna take long. So it's gonna go to controls and then na, 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 uh, T rudder, which is my rudder pedal. And you can see under a sign, I already have, wait, that's not, that's my mouse. Okay, here it goes. T-Rudder, Flight Control Services, which is under a sign, because I already have them assigned. If you didn't have them assigned, you can go down to All. That'll show everything. You're going to want to, like, minimize all this crap and then go to Flight Controls. 
you'll see right now I have rudder access. Uh, make sure you use rudder access. Like I, I, can, I can remap it right now. Click on that, click on here, just move my rudder pedals, and then hit validate. And then boom, now it's on there. So now you should see, to, to confirm that it actually worked, you should see a bar there now. If I move to the left, it does that. Move to the right, does that, and then center. Now, if you need to reverse for any any reason, you could do reverse. And then for the um, what's it called? The because the rudder pedals also have like a another axis where you can push down for like um, toe brakes, as they call them. Uh, where is that? I'm just gonna go to assign. I'm not sure where it is. Assigned is mine. Yeah, mine's been working. Here, brakes is under brakes, and then left brake axis, which is my left foot. And then right brake axis, which is my right foot. And again, I can remap that if I wanted to. I just click in this box here. Click on my left foot. Boom, there it is. Validate. That's working. My right foot, click on that. Boom, validate. And now that's working. And then make sure, and everybody needs to remember this. As a matter of fact, I don't think you guys can even see this. Let me turn off my lower overlay down here. So down here below my camera, um, on the bottom, it says back, preset manager, and apply and save. Make sure every time you hit apply and save after you make changes or it will not go into effect um, as well as you can also make new presets so right now I have a preset called rudder profile and that's just a preset I have so if you want to duplicate that you can duplicate it you can make a new one um, I personally how do I get out of here uh, back okay <laughs> um, I personally have multiple assignments uh, so like if you go to my uh, I have okay this is my joystick right if I go to my hold task warthog over here so I have two different settings for this. So I have a GA, so like if I'm flying GA, I have one profile setting, and then if I'm flying an uh, airliner or like an Airbus, I have a different setting. So right now, I have it set to the Airbus setting. So if we go over here, right underneath, can I move this over? Yeah, okay, so if we go underneath, you see it says throttle, hold task, warthog, Airbus. Well, that's what I changed it to. I also have throttle, hold task, warthog, GA, which we're gonna use anyways next, so I'll change it to that. Um, so I have, I duplicated the GA one and then made the uh, the Airbus one and that just takes advantage of the dual throttle function of it um, because I don't have dual you know if it's if it's a, a GA plane I use the second throttle um, as like a prop mixture or something like that I'll smoke and get to see me to the stream alright so uh, I'm gonna resume and I think that's it when we were in we're in we're here I don't want to leave like right off the bat I want to check out the scenery real quick before we leave uh, and also give you guys another chance uh, next stop will be one of you guys is uh, neighborhood so or just basically a special request from you guys so make sure you type in my house exclamation mark my house in chat for a chance for us to fly over into your neck of the woods or whatever your request is but this is uh new zealand guys and it looks pretty good honestly in my opinion you can see we got some autogen over here it's not like the uh i don't feel i don't think it's the the like uh, the Bing, like you, it's a difference between how Bing draws the the buildings and how Autogen looks. This definitely looks like Autogen, which is like an actual 3D model of a building, right? Like a, a generic 3D model of a building. So like obviously in real life, that building may not look exactly like that. Um, but if you go to some other cities, you'll see where um, <clears throat> Bing is kind of drawn like a 3D representation of that actual building. Um, but it's like Queenstown. Is not one of those cities only certain cities have that functionality like this is a very generic warehouse looking building right but obviously that's not what that looks like in real life not sure what that looks like in real life and so that's where third-party developers are gonna come into play where they can come in and override uh, an entire city an entire air area an entire airport and make it look better right so I don't think this is um I, mean, I don't think I'm not sure if this airport is on the handcrafted list I don't think it is uh, Ibrahim Thank you, my friend, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. Good to see you. Um, I don't think it's on, on the list. It might be, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, I mean, it's, this airport looks kind of generic, but it looks a little bit nicer than generic. I was in LaGuardia earlier, and it didn't look so nice. So we will have to see. Um, honestly, this looks handcrafted. I mean, I don't know, because I don't think the regular airports have all these features. So this airport might be one of the handcrafted. I don't know what do you guys think. It is, yeah. Okay, cool. So this is a handcraft. I didn't, I didn't realize that this was a handcraft uh, airport. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that view. The mountains in the background. That's beautiful. I guess we'll take a quick walk around while we're here. I mean, I hate to land here and just like leave immediately. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not check it out. I mean, we flew, 
over New Zealand, but we didn't see any of it. Like we literally like we took off in overcast skies and landed in over in overcast skies. So let's see what what handcrafted actually looks like. What does that mean? So it does look decent, right? Like I mean, wow. Oh, one you know one thing I want to show you guys. Let's walk back to the plane real quick. I don't know if we're gonna see it here. It might. What the heck was that? Thanks, my spawning in. It might be too dark. Camden, welcome to streaming. Good to see you. Uh, Jordan, Amari, good to see you guys. Um, so look at this. When you zoom in, you see how it actually looks like it has a, a cabin. Well, obviously it doesn't, right? So if I if I zoom in, like you know, if I go all the way in, there's there's no cabin in the A320. I don't think any of the airlines have cabins. But there's like this really cool like mask effect on the windows that makes you it kind of mimics the look of a cabin, and as you move, it kind of moves it. So it's just kind of like a a reflection it's like an effect that they put on the windows to kind of give you the the feeling that you're looking inside the plane when you're really not so it's kind of cool it's a cool little effect they did so i'm the reason i thought about that was because these windows have the same type of effect where it looks like it's see-through um, but obviously there's not gonna be anything behind here <laughs> you see it's just a mask basically but it's pretty cool it's not bad not bad i've actually never seen queenstown airport so i, I don't really know what to expect but it definitely doesn't look bad for an airport that comes with the base game. So, anyways, guys, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. It's time to go. Oh, my God, look at this. I'm going to have to come back here. We're going to come back here later and do some VFR flying. Don't worry. We're not doing New Zealand. Uh, that was a nice little IFR cloudy crash flight. But we're going to come back here for sure and enjoy everything New Zealand has to offer. Because we really didn't do it justice in this first little take. But I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, I did promise that I'd fly over some of your houses, so here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can do the roll. We'll do it now. All right, so again, rules are type in exclamation mark my house in the chat, and we will pick one of you guys uh, to basically choose where we spawn in next. All right, that's that's the easy way to explain it. Uh, I'll pick some plane. I want to actually, I want to have a choice of what plane we, we use because I haven't had to see them all. Uh, but you get the choice of where we go. All right, so type in my house now. And we're headed to one of your neighborhoods right now. I'm going to turn the music on while we wait. Hey. Love it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you guys 60 seconds to type in my exclamation mark my house before we draw a random winner. Do a little bit of plane spotting. That's a player right there. Anybody else landing in Queenstown? Nope, I don't see any more traffic. I think he's taking off on the other runway. All right, guys, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to try doing the contest as well on Twitch. So if it works, we'll do a Twitch winner and a YouTube winner. So if you're watching on Twitch, you can also type in exclamation mark my house to see if you can win as well. It may or may not work. I am not sure. But we shall see. All right. Three, two, and the one. I'm rolling it. All right. If, if uh, Kaden... Fun times. Are you here? If he's not here, we roll it again. You guys know the rules. If he ain't here, we roll it again. Caden Fun Times, my friend, are you here? If he's not here, we roll it again. Oh, he's here. What up, Caden? Good to see you, man. Congratulations. You're our first winner. Where would you like us to fly? Uh, I mean, obviously, it could be around your your, your city, your house, whichever. Um, but where would you like us to fly? This is all your choice. 
<laughs> and you can just give us like a uh, an IKO code at the nearest airport, something like that. Go to Salt Lake City, Utah. All right, sounds good. Here we go. Main menu. Also, is Bobby Jojo here on Twitch? Is Bobby Jojo here? All right, again, guys, if you'd like to join us as we uh, tour a few different people's neighborhoods, uh, we will be on the USA East server. East USA. Make sure you're on the East USA server. And we'll be on the All Players. Uh, I'm going to hop in... What do I want to fly? Which GA plane do you guys think I should fly? I mean, I'm trying to figure out what I want. I want to fly something that I haven't flown yet. Something that's new since Alpha. Uh, I mean, we could do a Cessna. I mean, I mean, I've had that, but I haven't had the the new new Cessna. We could do the we could do this plane, the Icon, actually, because the Icon can land on water, and Salt Lake City has a lake. So let's do the Icon. Perfect. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and choose. Uh, I'm actually going to pick a call sign this time because I forgot last time. November 116 Bravo, my usual, will be our uh, GA call sign. And then we will go uh, to... There's no liveries. Nope, sadly. All right, so we'll check. You never know. You never know. And we'll select KSLC, Salt Lake International. And what, for whatever reason, it's dark, which it is not right now in real life. Um, so we'll change flight conditions. We'll just do live, live weather. Again, I'm, I'm changing to all players. Actually, if the weather's bad, I'm changing it back to something else. Matter of fact. So let's just do it the way we had it before. We had um, preset. We had the live preset selected, so we could just fly how we want to do it. And change the time to daytime. And that's all. Hit fly. You see how long the loading time is. So again, we're flying or switching over to KSLC. And again, guys, it's not won't be the only one. We'll have multiple winners today, so you can. Uh, you only need to type in my house one time, by the way, and it puts you in there for good. I think my laptop has lost connection. Uh, my AI traffic setting. Uh, my AI traffic setting was AI traffic, right? Is that what you mean? Now I'll be honest with you guys. I've actually never flown the Icon, uh, even on Alpha. Like I just wasn't that interesting to me. Um, but you know what? I thought we'd give it a try today. Rainbow Six, you're Bobby on Twitch. Prove it. How do you use a flight plan given by the game in V-Pilot? Uh, ooh, good question. I have not tried v uh, VATSIM yet. So I honestly don't know. Um, I can show you that actually. As soon as it loads in, I'll show you how to in, uh, remove the in-game overlay. So I know a lot of flight simmers will know how to do that. For sure. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. Henry Harris, you're in New Zealand. What's up, bro? Good to see you. All right, guys, this is Salt Lake City. International. What is the point in flying through thick clouds uh, to get to where you want to go? All right. Again, guys, our winner was Caden Funtimes, our first winner. And uh, he chose to fly over Salt Lake City. Roland Coke, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Airway family. Again, this is my first time ever flying the Icon 5, so don't expect much from me. <laughs> we are on multiplayer, all players, public.
Yes, you can choose between low and higher quality of density of uh, AI traffic. That is correct. I have mine set to the highest setting. I have not tried VATSIM work yet. Uh, before we started streaming today, it just finally installed the game. So I was like, you know what, before I start modding it, let's just get it working, right? All right, so before we start, uh, I do want to show you guys, uh, I know this is going to be an, an ongoing question, how to remove uh, the, dis the um, what's the thing called? The HUD. I think it's under general and then camera. After you get the camera all the way at the bottom, it says chase camera. Right under that, it says instrument heads up display. Make sure you turn it to off. So if you guys you know the um, altitude, all that stuff that shows up on the um, on the screen when you're in the external view, if you don't want that stuff, that is where that option is to turn that off. Actually, very easy, very simple. I'm hit back on that. Um, and before we leave, um, something I just personally like to do is I like to change my avatar depending on what I'm doing. So miscellaneous. And I'm gonna change my pilot avatar to be a little bit something, a little less, a little more casual. You know what I mean? Nice little jacket. And I'll change Cynthia's uh, uniform as well, something a little bit more casual. She look a little bit too formal right now, so I gotta get her in a in a nice shirt. There it goes. That works. Apply and save. Actually, I don't think that's the same girl. That's a different girl. She's too, she's too dark. Oh, that's that's not her either. She's where she is. That's not her. There's no. That's not her either. I don't know where she's at. Oh, we'll use her. She's fine. Uh, rapper's rap. I'm in 1080. I have a 1080 screen, so I can only go up to 1080. Resume. All right, cool. So, uh, did I show you everything I want to show you? I think I believe I did. Uh, Caden, was there anywhere specific around Salt Lake City you would like to see? I'm gonna probably take off and head to the actual city to see if it's there, and then we'll just kind of fly around and see what's happening. All right, so guys, you want to join us? KSLC is where we're at. Uh, let's see if, uh, if this actually works. I don't know if I need to map any buttons. I am going to turn music off so we can enjoy the sounds of the Icon 5. See this? Matter of fact, before we even do that, let's take a look at it. I've actually never looked at this plane. So let's, let's see what we're working with right now. Icon 5. Amphibious. A very nice. It's a weird looking plane. Well, I remember when I first saw the first trailer of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And it showed the icon of five. I was like, what the heck is that thing? All aboard. Amar, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Pete Beef, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Blue Royal family. Thanks for coming through, man. Michael Thomas, good to see you as well. But yeah, this is the icon five. I got some wheels for when you're on the ground. Nice inside dash. Looks like a car, right? It looks like an actual car. All right, beautiful. All right, I see somebody else taking off ahead of us. Oh, another icon. Oh, my God. All right, let's join them. <laughs> All right, I got you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, oh boy. All right, what's the brake? Is there a brake button? What's the button for brakes? Where is the brakes? <laughs> what's the... What's the... What's the... Anybody? Quick key for brakes. Tell me now. I need to know ASAP. <laughs> I don't know the button. Edwin Marawa, thank you for the, for, for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Roof. I think I have a button. Yes, I, have, uh, I had a button mapped to it. I forgot. All right. All aboard. <laughs> Rappers rap, my friend. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Roof. Family, I'm glad you came through. All right, where's the thing? Here we go. All right, we're full power and barely moving. All right, one thing I do need to do, and that is change the sensitivity of my uh, rudder pedals. Amar Beg, thank you for the followers. Welcome to the Blu ray family. Alright, we're reaching 40 knots. We're in the white arc. Here comes the green. I don't know when this thing rotates. No, nope, I don't know anything about this plane. It's nice though. It looks like it looks like a freaking Tesla. <laughs> Alright, I think we are high enough. Skyheart, what up? 13k. Long ways we have come. I Very. remember the 97 sub days. Yeah, You've bro. Been such a good person, but mostly a great friend. Here thank representing from the OG gang. Keep it up. Appreciate that again, Skyhog. I do appreciate that, man. And thank you very much, even more, for the kind words, bro. I do appreciate that a lot. All right, we're going to change our view here. And uh, we're going to head to the, I think this is north. And I believe the city should be over here. Nah. All right, flaps are up. I think that's what we're slowing us down. OG Gang, Zeke Pulse, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Array family. 
So this is Salt Lake International Airport. Obviously, you know, it looks okay. It's default. It's not one of the handcrafted airports, so it's, it is what it is. Oh my god. That looks so cool. Like, this is people flying. Like, there's actual people in planes at the ship in. So I'm gonna take a look at the airport first, and then we'll head over to downtown Salt Lake City. Oh wait, 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 wait! One more thing. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. One more thing I want to show you guys, um, because if I don't do it, most likely it's gonna happen. So you know how we crashed, and it said you crashed, and it was just kind of like, oh, lame, right? It was lame. So there's a way to change that, and I honestly don't remember how, but I'm about to find it. So I think it is under, let's just start with miscellaneous. Nope, not there. Traffic, nope, sound, nope, camera. I don't think it's gonna be under there. Graphics, I don't think it's gonna be here either. Let's go to, I think it's under assist actually. It's under assist. And then let's try user experience. No, notifica notification, which are all off right now. That's a no. Here, failure and damage, crash damage. Disable, so you have to actually disable it completely, which kind of sucks. Explain eation. Thank you for the follow up to Blue Arrow, your family. You have to actually disable crash and failure damage in order to not have that screen. So now, if I hit the ground, it'll basically just like I just won't die, it'll just bounce off the ground and come back up. So I think it's still how it works. It's how it worked in the last version I played. So back, resume. And so now, if I overspeed, because if I overspeed, it would do the same thing, it would just say you crashed, right? So, anyways, this is uh, Salt Lake City. Um, obviously, this is what a default airport looks like on um, Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is one of the ways that this default airport can look. Definitely could use some love out here um, from a payware or freeware developer. I'm really hoping that the freeware community will uh, continue to produce uh, some great content because uh, I don't want to have to pay for every airport, right? You know what I mean? Um, so I'm hoping that the freeware capabilities out here are going to be good. But we'll have to see. This is definitely a great a airport. It has potential for uh, a rework for sure. So let's go ahead and continue north towards the mountains out here to uh, the actual downtown area, which I think is over here. Yeah, I'll go back to the inside view for a little while. Better default than x -Plane? Honestly, I don't know. Some cases, yes. But in some cases, no. Some airports just really look bad by default. Like, x plane has done better by default than some of them. But, but yeah, I, I don't know. It depends. And I also think it may be preference. But, so remember how I talked about it in Queenstown? Um, how the buildings were generic, right? They were generic autogen. Julian, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blurry Family. Thank you guys again. We just reached 13,000. Just today. Like, in this stream, we just reached 13K. And thank you guys so much to continue support and the new subscribers and the old OGs. Deck 506, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome to Blue Ray family. So I was gonna try to see uh, if they have the autogen or if they have like the, uh, the the scan stuff. Tommy, Tomo boy, thank you for the subscription as well. Welcome to Blue Ray family. This icon is actually pretty cool. It flies pretty nicely, I have to say. It's very smooth. It's actually, you know, we're going, we're going like one, we're going 90 right now, so it's not very fast, but it's nice. Patrick Anderson, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Eye Royal Family. It'd be nice when we can get like a, uh, a caravan with the skis or the uh, floats or a Cessna with the floats, you know what I mean? Look at that. There's a, uh, some kind of factory right there. Very nice. So, yeah, now, so this stuff right here is scanned. So before we saw the autogen, now this is scanned. You can see it's kind of, some of the buildings look legit, some of them don't. <laughs> if you get real close to them there, some of them look really unlegit, but some of them look pretty good. This plane actually does look like a flying car. Like, actually, I do actually feel like I'm flying a flying car. Look at that, what is that Capitol building right there? Let's go around the back. I'll go outside. So I think, I'm not sure, I'm not extremely familiar with Salt Lake City, but I think this may be downtown. That's pretty cool. So 
See, it's like a little hill right there. Not sure if that's true to life or not, but that's pretty cool. No, I'm not going to acknowledge. You leave me alone. And ask for clearance. The Capitol building. Thank you, Isaiah. And you know what? We're going to have some fun with it. Let's dive in there. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. DCS has taught me a lot on how to fly. We'll see if this actually works. Look at that massive tree. Oh, my God. That is definitely not how it's supposed to look. You guys see this massive tree? Look at this massive tree. Yeah, there's, a, there's something wrong with that. Look at this massive tree right here. Yeah, that's a bug for sure. <laughs> How did anybody catch that in Alpha? There's a few massive trees in, uh, in, in Salt Lake City. Somebody report that ASAP. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. I'm sorry I missed your name. Sadly, I only have one monitor, so whenever somebody subs, I have to like tab over to OBS to see who did it. This is Ghost Rider requesting uh, <laughs> flyby. <laughs> I mean, you know, even though it has some inconsistencies here and there, you know what I mean? Like, it's still better than flying over copy paste generic scenery, you know what I mean? Let's go real low now. We're gonna dive. I don't know what street I'm on. We're gonna dive it in here. Got some traffic on the roads. Sweet. I think I actually feel the wind going between the buildings. So whenever I go through one of these big intersections, I feel. Oh, look at that! <laughs> He's faceted me though. Get over here. Uh, I feel like I actually feel the wind between the uh, between the streets, between the buildings. I should say. Yeah, he got way more speed than me. What, what is that? A, a robin or something? I don't know the name of that plane. But yeah, I think Salt Lake City is a great place to fly. Honestly, like it has. I fly in here a lot in X plane, and there's some beautiful uh, mountains and stuff like that surrounding it. The lake looks beautiful as well. Uh, I'm not sure who I'm following, but uh, let's go ahead and head back. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and head back to the lake, and uh, we'll check out the lake. This is gorgeous, though. There's another plane right there. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's another uh, icon. This is why I like track IR. Look how I'm able to freely look my head around. You know what I mean? So I don't know where... Uh, Kadim actually lives. I'm not going to ask him for his exact address. <laughs> I killed Elvis. Thank you for the follow. Oaks and Blue Roy family. But we're in your neighborhood, man. Hopefully, you're a uh, good suggestion for flying over uh, Salt Lake City. Hopefully, you can see your house from here. There's another school over there. Some train tracks. Some more, a little bit of industrial area over there. And some more... Uh, Massive enlarged trees. <laughs> There's the highways. I'm not sure what this main highway is that goes through here. I think this highway leads uh, down there to the lake. So I'm gonna go towards the lake and see what that looks like. All and for fun's sake, we're gonna do a, a flip. Oh boy. Alright, somebody in chat asked for that. You got it. I don't usually do those, but today we're having some fun. Thank you, uh, Neo, or I don't know how to say your name, for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Ray family. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. And yes, we are going to land on a lake because this plane can. That's exactly what we're going to do. This is not an aerobatic plane. I just want to put, put that out there. <laughs> it's not what this plane is made for. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can get close to this guy. I want to see how hard formation flying is as we go towards the lake. He's low too. And I always been mentioning to you guys in the streams leading up to today. It's like, man, one of the things I look forward to is flying in formation with people. So let's see how difficult it actually is to do it. We should have a little bit of speed on him from losing altitude.
Let's see. I'm not great. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we formation flying. It, it takes practice if you want to fly like in a legit formation. I'm not sure who this is, but make sure you don't turn. Just stay where you are. <laughs> stay right there. Maybe lose a little bit of speed. But other than that, stay right there. Alright, gonna fly right back. I'm gonna transition right back over the uh, Salt Lake City of Class Bravo. Requesting transition at. Uh, what are we at? No idea how high we are. Uh, it's like 5,000? 5, 5,500? 5, that can't be right. I think it is, though. Alright, here we go. We're on them. Slope, 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 slope. There we go. <laughs> this is so dope. Oh man, this this is a moment that we're gonna remember for our entire aviation life. Right here. Let's see if I can get as close as I can. Nope, nope, stay, nope, don't you move. Don't you move. It's actually a pretty cool plane. I gotta say, I've, I've, again, I've never really been interested in the Icon 5, but it's actually pretty cool. I guess it's pretty, you know, obviously versatile. I can take off on land and land on the water, so that's pretty sweet. I wonder if it, uh, if this game simulates wake turbulence. Maybe I'm asking too much now. <laughs> oh no, where did he go? Oh, oh, okay. I guess if you get too close, it, they disappear. All right. Well, I guess that's a way to fight trolls. I assume. All right. So this is as close as I can get. Uh, that's kind of a downer. I wonder if there's a way to turn that setting off. Like, if I really want to fly like a legit dope formation, like I want to be freaking on that wing, man. I want to be on that wing. Oh, look at that, on the right side. Oh, snap. Okay, he's going to kill us. <laughs> All right, how about I take the left wing and you take the right wing. I'm going to go under. There you go. We'll, we'll let him be number one, whoever this is. I don't know who this is, but we'll let him be number one. All right, I lost him. Shoot. This is also where track IR really comes into play. All right, there he is. Nice. Icon 5 formation. Love it. All right, me and him are doing a horrible job of, of <laughs> noobs. We're doing a horrible job trying to form, get on this way. <laughs> okay, chill out. Oh my god, if if there was if there were co collisions, we would all be dead by now. That's that is one thing that is for sure. All right, turn, turn. Okay, well, that's impossible to do at the same time. Oh no! Lost my camera view. Where'd he go? Uh, oh, he's in front of me. Who is that? Uh, thank you, Depeche, for the uh, subscription. Welcome to Blue, Blue ah, for the subscription. Welcome to the Blue Arrow family. Where'd he go? Don't it stop? Don't it fall? All right, I'm just gonna pull off and come back. There he is. We're almost to the lake now. Yeah, looking better now. Look at y'all looking all nice. Looking all professional. Look at y'all looking all professional. Oh! Icon 5, baby. It looks nice. Thank you, Libby2020. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Glad to see you. Welcome to the Blu-ray family. I'm trying to multitask here. <laughs> oh, hello. Well, hello there. You decided to join us. Y'all make it look so easy. Alonzo, I got you, bro. Only, only because you're from Texas and I'm from Texas. I got you, bro. And you've been asking me for like five weeks, so I got you. Anybody, you know, and yes, you're getting special treatment. Nobody else is getting a. A outside of the uh, <laughs> no one else is, is I'm flying to their place without winning the contest everybody else has to win it but for you Alonzo I got you. just stick around if you can stick around I got you uh, I'll be the last place we go today 
All right, so what we're gonna do, guys, we'll fly, we'll, we'll fly formation to the lake, land on the lake. Okay, I just killed him. And then uh, after that, we'll uh, choose a second winner. And we'll fly out to their location. Sounds good. This is so dope, guys. I, I can't wait for the rest of you guys to, oh my god, I'm doing, why am I, so, why am I doing so bad? I mean, hold on, let me just chill. Let me, let me lock. Let me lock this thing. Alright, cool. This probably looks super legit from outside. Alright. Now what sucks too is that I, 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 because I'm flying, like I'm really trying to, to, um, not, you know, and when you're flying a formation, you can't really go to the exterior view and start doing things, you know what I mean? So, I would like to have a replay mode so I can go back and replay this, take screenshots of this, and, uh, because and, I can't take any screenshots right now because I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to die. Alright, we're doing a little bit better. A little bit better. Um, lead plane. How about once we get to that mountain up there, make a right turn and we'll land in the water. Anywhere in the water, it doesn't really matter where. All right, little, little, little adjustments here. Just playing with the throttle and playing with the, the side stick. What this thing? Okay, this thing does use a stick. Okay, cool. All right, so let me try to at least get on his uh, his left wing. I want to be, I want to be like center on that left wing over there, kind of like if I was doing air-to-air -air refueling, you know what I mean? Which would be something that would also be very cool that they should, I mean, I think they should add, add a uh, KC-130 just for air-to-air -air refueling. That would be sick in this game. All right, let's see. Doing better, doing better. Yeah, a lot of people are having problems download, downloading uh, the game, downloading the update. Not really sure exactly what's causing it. Make sure you have your NVIDIA drivers and stuff like that already installed before we start downloading. Are we losing altitude? What are, you, what are we doing? I think we're losing altitude. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. <laughs> this is where it'd be helpful to be on comms. I know I'm not on Discord. I'm sorry, guys, but it'd be helpful to be on comms to, to communicate turning and speed, altitude, all this stuff. Yeah, just know that if you're having issues downloading the game, just know that you're not alone. And a lot of people are having the same problem. Um, just probably like kind of monitor the forums. They've posted a few workarounds. They've worked for some people and not for all. Um, so if it's not working for you, just keep an eye out for that and just keep trying, you know, just keep trying it over and over until it gets working. Um, that's something I was really worried about when I was in installing the games. I was worried about having issues installing it as well because I actually did have problems um, back in the alpha testing period where I had to I actually had to deal with a lot of problems that are going on now. All right, guys, time to land. So um, I'm just going to follow him. Go ahead and... Uh, Whoever's first, I still don't know who that is, <laughs> but whoever's first, go ahead and uh, start descending onto the lake and we'll land in the water here. Okay, he's doing it now. <laughs> and I'm going to try to actually land right next to him, like in formation. I'm going to try. Oh, no. I actually wouldn't have, like, we're still right on him. We wouldn't have hit him. That's good, Parker. So the command line thing did actually work for you. That's just honestly, that's just not that's not good. Like we shouldn't have to type in a command in our in our computer to have a game install. So I mean, I don't know what what's causing that. Um, it's definitely been a chaos for a lot of people. Most of us, honestly, getting this thing downloaded, whether it got stuck or whether it just took an extremely long time to do. Bro, I am right on you right now, like killing it on the formation. I think we're going down right now. I don't know. Do we need flaps to land in the water? I think he's just gonna. I think he's just gonna throw it in there. Let's watch him land first. I'll be. I'll be his camera crew. He just bounced off of the water. 
Alright, I guess we'll just put it in there. <laughs> I don't know if I need flaps, though. Do I need flaps? Thank you uh, for the follow or whoever that was. I'm sorry, I missed it. But welcome, welcome. Right, I think we're down. Yeah, we are. Wow, that was easy. Alright, we're still kind of bouncing it. But we're down. I don't know if there's like. How do you stop? Are there reversers? Are there like water breaks? <laughs> like, how does that work? Wait, hold on. So cool. <laughs> that is so dope. That is so dope. Hold on, let me go to get my uh, depth of field in here. Oh, we're definitely gonna die. Is he still flying? Or is that just how it shows you in multiplayer? In multiplayer, does it just not show you in the water? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think multiplayer doesn't show them in the water like I am, but there he's definitely in the water. There's no way he's flying that slow. Well, Caden, fun times, I want to say, man, thank you for the great suggestion. Um, fun flying in the... Look at this. Oh, my God. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> uh, fun flying in Salt Lake. Check, check out the city. Check out the water. Uh, can you guys... Uh, the, the couple icons that are over here with me, can you see if you can get over here next to me and... Um, so I can take a quick screenshot for the thumbnail today. This would be a perfect thumbnail. Yoshi, oh Yoshi, you were the lead plane. Cool, bro. Well, thank you for leading us to the uh, Salt Lake, for the, the Salt Lake, I guess is what they would call it. Oh, you still can't get that close. There's another guy way over there. It's all good, it's all good. We'll just get like nice and close to the water. They'll find us a screenshot. And then we'll move on to the next location. Remember guys, type in my house, exclamation mark my house. We got a couple more stops to do. I'm not sure how, how many we'll do. We'll just kind of go until I run out of time. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll do a IFR flight and a 787 and then we'll do another uh, my house, my ho your house feature. I'll tell you, this plane looks like a legit luxury car, flying car. That's what this thing makes me think about. Do something like that. That looks kind of cool. Let me take a screenshot. I want one that has like the mountains in the background because that would be cool. Let me turn around. I'm going to turn around. How hard is it to steer this thing in the water? Can I use my rudder pedals? <laughs> oh yeah, I can. This is cool. The only thing that it doesn't have is like the, uh, obviously like, you know where it should be splashing. You know, like we were floating on the water very nicely, but we're not splashing. Did he leave? This is so dope. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm saying is this is dope. It's just going. It's just going all by itself. <laughs> Do a Sully. I'm just gonna put it on the full. Let's see what happens. See so if I can pull back just a little bit. Oh, bam! <laughs> Oh look, there's another one over there. That's cool. I'm trying to get this screenshot that I want. I'm not really digging any of these. All right, we'll go. With, we'll go with it. All right, let's go ahead and continue, guys. While we're uh, kind of just aimlessly flying in the air, uh, I will go ahead and uh, roll for the next winner. 
Again, type in exclamation mark my house in chat uh, for a chance to win. Alright, are you ready? Let's roll it. Uh, hold on. Oh, there it is. Alright, the winner is... It should show it in chat also. B! Exclamation mark 0LY. Is he here? I know he was here earlier. Is he still here? B! Exclamation mark OLY. If he's not here, we'll roll it again. He has 10 seconds to type in chat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He's a no-show. On to the next one. Cancel. Rolling it again. Rowdy Ones. Is Rowdy Ones here? Rowdy Ones. Is Rowdy Ones in the chat? Our next winner. Rowdy Ones. Is Rowdy Ones in the building? Or I should say on the plane. I'm actually having a problem with my Twitch right now. Uh, it's not rolling it on Twitch. Let me try it again. All right, Roddy Ones is not here. He's not here. R rolling it again. Antonio Gameplays. Is Antonio Gameplays here? Antonio, gameplays. Speak now, or forever hold your peace. And keep your house to yourself. Alright, you guys know what happens when you leave. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Making sure I don't see him typing in chat. He or her. Antonio. Nope, not here. Rolling it again. All right, give me somebody good night, bot. Give me, give me somebody good night, bot. Here we go. Fixing things for you. What up? Fixing things for you. Are you in the building? Is he here? Is she here? Fixing things for you. Last time we got somebody right on the first roll. I know he was here earlier. I saw him chatting with us. Fixing, fixing things for you. Where you at? Nope. All right. I'm. I'm. For every time that somebody's not here, that it gets you get a shorter period of time before I roll it again. I right, got three, two, one. Rolling it again. He ain't here. Kingsley Nabosi. Kingsley Nabosi. I'm doing my best to, to, to pronounce these names. <laughs> Kingsley Nabosi, where you at? All right, here we go. All right, we're about to roll it again. We're going to have to roll it again. If you're not here, we, we pass you up. We wait for no one. Planes wait for no one. Alright guys, I'm actually going to switch to my computer. Um, so don't worry, I'm going to have you guys type in the thing again in just a second. Because I want to make sure that the people who are here get it. So I'll have you, I'll go ahead and reset it for people who are watching right now. So hold on, just wait a second. I'm about to set it up. Alright, it is now set up. Mods can win as well. Go ahead 
and type in exclamation mark my house you got a few seconds to get in before I roll it one more time and I do apologize twitch people if you could just slide over to YouTube just for the for the roll you don't have to watch on YouTube just get into the chat, into the chat and type it in um, the, 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 I was having problems with the twitch contest as well all right guys you got five seconds five four three two and oh no we're rolling it let's see what happens sim pilot where you at sim pilot sim pilot i know you're here because you just typed it sim pilot where you at buddy type it in type it in sim pilot there he is okay send me your request where do you want to go sim pilot where shall we go next? I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here so we don't have to spend too much time on loading screens. Go back to our main menu. Where would you like to go, SimPilot? Let's see where you at. Congratulations, by the way. Make sure you guys say congratulations to SimPilot for the win. And we'll turn the music on. Nice. I like how quickly we got back here. Very nice. All right, let me make sure I don't miss your... K-E-Q-Y. All right, I have no idea where that is, and I like the fact that I no, have no idea where that is. Let's go. Monroe, regional Monroe. That is on the East Coast. Legit. All right, so it's like a smaller area. So what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to pick another GA plane, and uh, I'm going to pick the extra because it's so much fun to fly. So I'm going to pick that. We're going to go with live. Uh, all players, AI, preset is going to be, I guess, live weather, but a different time. All right, we're ready to go. K-E-Q-Y, here we come. Monroe Regional. Um, actually, yeah, you know, runway 2-3, that's fine. Again, guys, tomorrow uh, we do plan to start doing some, a few giveaways of X, uh, it's called Microsoft Game Pass or Xbox Game Pass. So if you don't have the game yet and uh, you want us to give you a Game Pass, we may be giving a few away tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. We'll also be flying a 787 and doing another feature of Fly to Your House, Fusion. Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to Blue Array Family. Super hype, man. Microsoft Flight Simulator, release day, release party. It's going down. Again, if you guys want to continue, it was, that, that last flight was a lot of fun. Flying the, uh, the Icon in formation was a heck of a lot of fun. So definitely come back to this next flight. Join us in KEQY. 37,000 feet. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Area Family. It's good to see you. Glad to have you. Thanks for coming through, my friend. I want you guys to say hello. Hold on. Give me a second. All right, here we go. I want you guys to say hello to Instagram. <laughs> Everybody in chat say what up to Instagram. We on Microsoft Flight Simulator Day 1. Yeah. Yeah. Release party. Microsoft release day is going down. Here it is. We're doing requests today. Jumping into KEQI out of the world. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal Family, my friend. Heck yeah, let's do it. Let's continue. All right, all right. Jumping into extra, baby. Let's pull those powers back. All right, you guys are gonna be on Instagram. That was like the perfect song, too. Perfect song. All right, it's it's posted on my story now. All right, we're here. Oh, that's dope. Look how there's another person taxing behind me. This is so legit, though, man. <laughs> Oh my god, for real though, look at this. Oh, he, oh, there he is. Wait, did it put you on that side of the runway on purpose? Or are you just taxiing behind me? All right, cool. So um, I gotta say again, I'm really, all right, so check it out. So this is the airport, K-E-Q-Y. There's not really much here, but that's okay. That's kind of how it is sometimes. There it is over there. Some, uh, a couple of generic buildings, a few PC-12s, and uh, it's like, uh, I'm not sure what that plane is, a Baron or something like that. Actually, that's not a Baron. I don't know what that is. Um, we'll take a look at it from the air. Got a couple of forklifts driving, driving around. But uh, not too bad, nice. One thing I do like about this game 
is that even small airports like these are actually represented. They may not be fully, you know, like handcrafted, but they are represented. And uh, I like smaller airports like these. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. All right, parking brake, right. All right, here we go, we're going. Let's see if I know how to fly this thing. Did I just hit somebody? Uh, yeah, we can take a very close look at the, at the trees. Here we go. <laughs> you wanna see the trees? I give you trees. There you go. Is that close enough? I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, what you call it? A freaking aerobatic plane. No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why I turned crash off. That's exactly why I turned crash off. Okay. Here we go. We're up in the air now. I like this view. This view is really cool. All right, so we're here to show off KEQY from uh, by request. Our winner today is take take take, take a look out, check it out. So again, I don't like sure exactly where we are, but um, somewhere on the east coast. Oh, nice! I got a friend. You got a friend in me. I'm sorry, I'm flying very randomly right now. I'm just kind of trying to look at things rather than fly things. I do apologize. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the scenery and, 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 and like not die at the same time. This plane is so freaking agile. Like just one tiny little movement and like it moves, you know what I mean? So this is what it looks like from probably like, I don't know, 2,000 feet. I really wish we had uh, smoke so then we could do like like really cool aerobatics but yeah, again like even places like these man like like there's no like crazy mountains or or like crazy lakes out here but it's just like a a typical area you know what i mean and i don't mean that in an offensive way but like even in my hometown like my home airport is just a typical area it's just neighborhoods shopping centers farms and trees right but at the same time like it's still is a really good representation. Look at this neighborhood over here to the left. Like, that looks like a legit neighborhood. You know what I mean? There's the trees in the yard and the, in the backyard. Got the houses there. Um, the trees really help, honestly. Like, if it wasn't for the trees, it would just be basically ortho. Um, there is autogen here, though. All the buildings. I don't think these buildings are the actual buildings that will be there, but they're kind of autogen, generic buildings in place of what the system thinks should be placed there. But honestly, I mean, if I lived out here, um, well, I mean, I can't really speak for the people who do live out here, but I feel like this would be decent. Like, this would be satisfying to fly in and out of. If you're looking for a one-to-one -one, uh, representation of it, then you will definitely be disappointed. But I think it looks pretty good. All right, let's try to touch and go with this, and then we'll come back out and do some aerobatics. I don't know if I can land this plane, so I want to kind of try to do a touch and go. Hey, right, uh, whoever's following me, I'm doing a touch and go on uh, whatever runway that is over there. That one looks like two, three. And yes, I do agree. The engine sound does sound pretty amazing in this plane. It looks it sounds pretty incredible from the outside. I think they did a really good job on on most of the engine sounds for most of the planes. Like the 7172 sounds really good. Most of the props sound really freaking good. The King Air, um, the King Air has a really original uh, sound. We're actually in the white arc, flaps down. Um, are they coming down? Are the flaps coming down? I'm not sure if they came down. Oh, it will. Actually, there's a um, that thing right there. I'm not sure. It's like a, some kind of salt mine or something like that. Yes, any of you guys can add me online. Uh, Blue Games, I think it's 5412 or something like that. So you, any of you guys can feel free to add me on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then we can uh, do continue to group flights even offline. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go coming for land. Uh, November one six extra, sorry, extra one six Bravo coming in for landing. Left base, left base to final runway two five. Uh, regional traffic. I don't know the name of this airport. All right, here we go. We're a little fast. Actually, we're a lot of fast. I just want to see if I can land a aerobatic tail dragger. <laughs> That's basically what I want to do. 
And I love that this thing has the... It's like a representation. Oh, there's a tree there! Oh. Okay, well. We're a little bit far. I think we're gonna land, oh, we're gonna land in the grass. <laughs> I can't see the freaking... I mean, I can see in the... In there, but I can't see the runway. Alright, so we're on it. <laughs> we landed just in the grass. Alright, touch and go. We're rolling. I know, rip. <laughs> Pretty cool. Again, it's very satisfying when you come from the ground level to above the tree line. Like, look at this. I'm going to go down and do a quick aerobatic from right down here. Get some speed in. We're at 150, 160 knots. So you're below the tree line. Coming up above the tree line. And do a quick loop. Try to stay on the line. That's why doing uh, aerobatics over runways is really good practice of uh, keeping, like, staying right in line. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do it again, except I'm going to do a, a flip. So watch. So come around. kind of give you a good reference of where you should be, right? But yeah, a lot of fun doing aerobatics. <laughs> I honestly didn't, never, haven't really done much on, uh, on X-Plane before, but I, don't know, I just didn't really enjoy it that much. But now, with the possibility of doing like, you know, more formation stuff, it's kind of cool to be able to do some aerobatics. So then later you do some practice. You know, I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of virtual aerobatic teams coming out now, which I, I think there were before. But there will definitely be a lot more now. Woo! Woo! Oh my god! Dead again! Whew. Well, and this is why I want to turn off Crash, because if we didn't turn off Crash, we wouldn't get to appreciate us laying on the ground upside down. <laughs> How do I get to the outside, outside view? There it is. So that's a nice little screenshot of day one. Pretty sure we're gonna see a lot of this in the future. <laughs> All right, guys, let's roll it again. Uh, thank you so much, Sim Pilot, for the suggestion. I actually did enjoy flying out here at this airport. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. I, I'm glad that the airport was like like this. I'm glad it wasn't like some popular airport somewhere. Not that I don't mind going there. I just liked it. Yeah. Anyways. All right. So remember, if you haven't typed in my house exclamation my, exclamation mark my house in chat, make sure you do it now. We're about to roll it again. As actually, we could like we could chill out here and just watch. Like you could literally go to an airport and just plane spot and watch people. Like listen to them. I'm gonna turn it up. Listen to you can actually hear them buzzing. Hey, you guys keep on doing spins and stuff. I wanna show them how loud, how good it sounds. Let me turn it up. Where they go? Sounds like I'm at a freaking air show. There he is. Oh my god, that's so cool, bro. We gotta do, we guys, seriously, jump on Discord! Exclamation mark Discord! Hop on Discord, guys. We gotta do some more flying, some more like formation stuff. Just messing around. We can also do some IFR, VFR, everything, man. But this right here, listen to this. Come lower, come lower. Listen to that. That is so dope. I think it should be a little bit louder, but it sounds amazing. You remember how I mentioned in, um, look, it's a plane super far out there. I'm not sure who. It's like somebody probably flying far, far away up in the sky. I mentioned on X Plane a couple days ago uh, that one thing that most add on developers in X Plane hadn't gotten right was the flyby sound. You know, it just sounded like a vacuum, you know what I mean, <laughs> the whole time. But like here, you get that real, like, spatial sound. Like it's, it's not just like yeah, it's like yeah, and then you hear like the you know what I'm saying. Anyways, next, all right, we're about to roll it right now, guys. Thank you so much for joining into the contest. About to roll it to see who is the winner. Rolling it now. Let's see, Blue Lantern, are you here? Are you on the tarmac? Blue Lantern has won the next. It's not actually a giveaway. I know it says giveaway in the chat, but it's not actually a giveaway. Blue Lantern, are you here? 
Oh, somebody else died. <laughs> Shut the engine off. We need to go back to repair. Blue Lantern, is he here? That's Ace, that's you? We need to you need to come with the, the same name. Comment with the comment from the same name. See, anybody could just say that's me. <laughs> I just need you to comment with your original name, Blue Lantern, so that I can confirm that it's you. That is so funny. Oh my god, that was priceless. Alright, IFMG just confirmed. So, if since you have proof from somebody else. Alright, Ace, where are we going next, buddy? Where are we going next? Very cool. Hey, next time we're gonna come we're gonna come up next time we're gonna come show off in these extras. Don't worry, give us some practice. Give us some practice. And you know, that thing just flew <laughs> <laughs> Messed up on me. Very cool though. Again, loving the sound from multiplayer. Like not just sound for you, but sound for multiplayer. Uh, Ace or Blue Lantern? Where are we going, man? I need to know. Let's go. Let's go. Run out of time. I got maybe one more. This will be my last one. This this is gonna be our last stop for today. Again, we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. Uh, an IFR flight, and then. Uh, And then we're gonna uh, jump into another feature flight where you guys get to choose where we go. Probably multiple. Where is he at? Ace, where you at, man? We're waiting for you. I'm gonna have to move to the next person. Listen to that thing. About to run me over, bro. My question still is, do they put the person that you choose as an avatar in there? Or is it just like some random people? Cause the last, the other Airbus pilot was a female, so I'm, I'm assuming. Look at that, another extra. This is a perfect place to practice. Uh, like it's the the location is just a perfect place to practice this kind of flying. Persian trader, what's up? Welcome to the stream. All aboard. Uh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Persian trader, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. Um, Ace, where's Ace? He went AFK as soon as he won. <laughs> I'm not seeing I'm watching the chat I'm not seeing him request a location I'm looking for Ace or Blue Trader he has two call signs I, I'm gonna have to roll it again if I don't see anything from him I'm sorry Ace you were so close buddy alright you got five seconds four three two he got muted how did he get muted one. All right. Well, we gotta go. We gotta move on. I'm sorry. Not sure what happened. Technical difficulty of some sort. Rolling it again. John T. Where you at, buddy? Where's John T? John T. John in the letter T. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for joining us. Congratulations. You have won. You are next to choose our next stop on apparently the aerobatic oh, tour. <laughs> and welcome. Thank you, Lewis Hancock, for the. Uh, there he is. All right. Where are we going? Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal Family. Where are we going, John? Where are we going? EGMC. All right, nice. I knew somebody would finally pick you up. All right, here we go, guys. Jump into EGMC. I don't know where. All I know is that's in the UK. I don't know anything else. Actually, it might not be UK. I just know it's in Europe somewhere. So I have no idea where that is. So I'm glad. Again, this is the kind of the reason I wanted to do this because I didn't want to just like go fly to a bunch of iconic, you know places that everybody wants to go to i want to go where you guys want to go i want to check out some of these places that i would never even think to go to like keqy or whatever it was uh egmc let's see um departure airport egmc south end cool oh wow oh yeah we out here we out here it's gonna be nice right next to heath uh london so that's gonna be really nice um what airplane should we fly now I heard some people requesting the King Air earlier. Oh, but wait. 
because uh, we'll, you know we'll have we'll do aerobatics tomorrow too let's let's save it i was gonna pull out the red dragon on you that, that's what i call it i call it the red dragon <laughs> i was gonna pull out the red dragon i'm gonna save that for tomorrow i don't want to get too excited up in here uh let's see i have not got a chance to check out the baron so i personally just want to try the baron so we'll fly the baron uh, i know it's not a, not as exciting as uh as uh, the extra but it is a plane i haven't got to fly, fly yet so we'll take off runway two three south in egmc let's go i gotta say though these uh airports have been uh, loading in pretty quickly as you guys can tell Bass drum, yeah, I like the I like the Baron as well, man. I like it. Uh, on X plane, the Baron is one of my favorite planes to fly, but more of the payware version, not so much the the default one. The default one's not bad though, but I do I do enjoy it. Oh, guys, it's been a good day. Uh, I really wish I could stream longer, but it took a long time to get this thing downloaded. So I'll be out of here in the next thirty minutes. So this will be our last request, and then we'll go to Dallas. Um, huge shout out to my man Alonzo. He's one of the OGs. He's been hanging out and supporting the channel for a very long time. And uh, he's been wanting me to go to, D to Dallas. And Dallas is in my state. So I got to represent my state on the first day of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't think a lot of people are going to be visiting Texas. Uh, I don't think a lot of streamers will be visiting Texas <laughs> um, the, as a first thought, right? So I want to head out there and show some love. Uh, we haven't even been to my home place yet. We haven't even been to my hometown yet. But uh, I want to say, though, we're not done because I just got this baby installed, downloaded. You know, I'm still doing settings. But after the stream is over, guys, I do plan to continue doing more flights, more whether it be IFR or VFR, um, and just flying in general, man. I just got it installed. Like, it's time to play. <laughs> I may not be able to stream, but I will definitely be playing. So, again, we'll be back tomorrow, um, definitely earlier in the day, way earlier in the day. Um, there's more flying and it's gonna be a lot of fun trust me in the 787 and uh definitely come through thank you speedy papa thank you glad you like this shirt i do have this shirt for sale if you guys want all right here we go you can type in exclamation mark exclamation mark merch and uh you can check out all my store it is windy out here oh boy all right music is gonna come down and uh welcome to south end out here not too far from london We'll be in the uh, Beechcraft Baron G58. Looking forward to checking this baby out. Uh, who was that the one again? Uh, it was uh, John T. By request from John T. Thank you again, man, for coming through. All right. What do you guys think of the uh, intro uh, uh, thingies? What do you call them? The, the intro uh, thingy with ears. <laughs> intro animations. Whatever the heck it's called. I don't know what it's called. All right. Well, I'm not doing any... Um, Definitely not doing any uh, any of that stuff in this plane, but I did want to check it out. All right, so you can see, actually, I'm noticing already uh, a bit of a performance difference out here uh, since we're so close to London. Now, this default airport doesn't look too bad. I don't see any gate jetways. I'm not sure if they have them. It's definitely not a handcrafted airport, which is fine. Oh, already! Buzz in the field in a bonanza. All right, it's, I guess we need to get out of here then. All right, prop full four, break off. Let's go. Probably do some touch and goes and do a little bit of flying around the area. I see uh, Baron 58 with the G1000. Nice. Or G3000 is actually what that is. Dang, a spike 500 feet tall. Sheesh. All right, we're well high fast enough now. Landing gear and flaps coming up. Now, I know, since we're so close to London, there's going to be some nice being Im image out, imagery out here. Look at that. Look at that off the left wing right there. That looks good already. I'm, I'm honestly not even going to focus on, like, London. I want to focus on South End because London is, has been done. <laughs> you know what I mean? You guys know what that looked like. But this is a part of Europe that, you know, not everybody's going to be jumping out of their seats to go see. So pulling our power back now. And this looks incredible, though. Look at this, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.
You don't sink. I'm at ultra settings right now. The train track right there. This is cool. Look at this, man. Is your house in here somewhere? <laughs> That's crazy. I can actually hear the TVM coming. I look back because I heard the TVM coming. It's like a golf course right there. Follow the coast. We'll follow the coast up to like around here and come back down. It's a roundabout. A couple tennis courts. Definitely, the scenery is definitely incredible, man, for for this by default. This is not extra payware scenery, like this is standard. You know, like this is cool. Another uh, train yard right there, looks like. That TVM sounds amazing too, I gotta say. Alright, we're gonna follow turn back and follow the train tracks back inland. If my pilot fainted, could I land a plane in real life? I could try. But, I don't know, it depends on what plane we're flying. <laughs> I would definitely tell uh, ATC uh, we have an emergency. I'm not a pilot, but I'm going to try to fly in this plane. 500. Or at least try to wake him up. But, no, I wouldn't say I'm... I need a bit more training than flight sim to do that. Alright, I'll follow the train tracks back. It does look realistic, doesn't it? Wow, wow, wow. Microsoft Flight Simulator is here, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks incredible. the school now I know some of these are well, probably a lot of these are just regular like autogen generic buildings but actually I think most of them are but they tried pretty try pretty hard to uh, mimic exactly what the buildings should look like even though they're not all completely accurate Gain some altitude. So stinking cool. Get a water reflections. Same in the skies are going to be busy this week. People flying around everywhere. But I was saying earlier, I don't know if I completed my thought, but join us on Discord, man, and uh, so we can continue flying around, hanging out in voice chat, streaming on Discord and whatnot. So I want to visit some more places, do some more flying, more exploring. I think this is the, uh, actually, I don't know where we are now. I'm lost. Okay, I gotcha. So we're south of uh, South End. Or was it West End? East End? South End? <laughs> Something like that. And we could actually follow this river if we wanted to. Uh, I have Premium Edition, but you get the same scenery. I mean, except for some of the handcrafted airports, but we really haven't flown too many handcrafted airports. Pretty much everything we've been flying today have been uh, 
standard edition, except for this plane. This plane is actually one of the either deluxe or premium edition planes. There's a golf course. What do you guys say? Uh, if we were to have an engine failure right now, where would we land? Hmm? <laughs> If we were to have an engine failure right now, where would we land? Uh-oh. I think we lost an engine. I think... I think we lost the right engine. I think it's gone. Is it... is it... is it working? No, I think it's working. I have no RPMs though. Yeah, look at that. Fuel flow on the right side is down. We're like, we lost the right engine. We gotta land. Alright, I see lots of fields out here. What's that over there? Alright, we gotta put it down somewhere. Uh, this, we just flew over a golf course. We're gonna put it down in the golf course. Actually, that's a nice little stretch of land right there. It's just spinning in the wind, yeah, the right. Matter of fact, I think we may have lost two engines. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, we lost our engine! Alright, we're gonna put it down over here in the sand trap. Or near it. Don't think we're gonna be able to land that short. Uh, oh, there's a nice little stretch of land right there. Alright, gear's coming down. We can glide for a little bit, though. Stall. Nice! Nice! Okay, we're going down the hill, though. That's not safe. That's not safe. <laughs> oh, boy. We did it. Look at that. Look at that as the TV was flying over us. Well guys, we got off we got out of here safely. <laughs> Alright, let's go on to our final stop of the day. Again, guys, we will continue tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys so much for participating with us today. Flying with us on multiplayer or joining into the contest. I definitely do appreciate it. It has been fun, man. It has been memorable. Started out the stream today with a horrible A320 crash. <laughs> Very unexpected into the mountains of New Zealand was not expecting that at all. And now we're going to head down to my home state. Not my home, but my home state of Texas. Actually, it is my home, but not my actual home city. We're just going to go to a city neighboring my home city. So that's the plan right now. And I guess we'll start from DFW, which is not on the handcrafted list. KDF Dub. And what we'll do is probably fly around downtown. I've actually driven to this city many times in real life uh, for different reasons. And we'll fly. I don't want to fly anything too slow. I'm going to take something a little bit faster. Somebody was requesting to fly the King Air. So we'll do the King Air. I think that'd be perfect for this. Uh, Michael Gleason. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome to Blue Royal, Fam Royal Family. And thank you to everybody else who has, sub that, who has subscribed today. It has been a very good time. Very mem memorable, guys. Oh, man, it's been amazing, I gotta say. That's it, fly. Let's do it. Again, loving how quick these loading screens are. Hopefully they stay this way once we get all, all of our add-ons <laughs> put in, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this will be our last stop for today. We'll do a, a little bit of uh, exploring around the city and the airport. And then we'll say our goodbyes for today. And we'll be back again, like I said, tomorrow. Esta mañana. Hopefully you guys will return. And also, if you would like to continue flying with us or the community, you can join us on a Discord by typing exclamation mark Discord. It'll give you that link. You can hop in there. And uh, if you ever want to fly, just go in there and say, hey, anybody want to fly? <laughs> and we'll say yeah or no. <laughs> um, but sorry, guys, I'm not taking any more requests for today. This is our final request. If you would like me to fly anywhere specific, please let me know in tomorrow's stream when we do our uh, fly to your house segment again 
Denise Pro up to the stream. Mr. Fox. Matter of fact, let's get some shout outs out of the way, guys. Uh, for those of you who have made it this far, <laughs> let's get some shout outs, man, for sure. I want to say thank you to everyone. So go in the chat. Let me know uh, where you're watching from. Yeah, let me know where you're watching from. Leave me an emoji and I'll say what's up and say hi. And uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, I am going to have to try, try to get Vatsim installed and a few other things installed tonight. Um, I don't want to ruin my simulator on release day. Uh, hopefully none of that stuff will crash it or, or have a, a bad impact on frames. So we'll have to see. Um, but I'll, I'll be taking a look at the forums to see what's what's available. Vatsim for sure, because obviously I do want to fly on Vatsim. I'm very curious to see how AI traffic, sorry, how multiplayer traffic looks on, on Vatsim. Uh, it's one of my biggest questions, honestly. So... Adrian Kuzman, what's up, man? Watching from Guatemala. My, one of my best friends is from Guatemala. That's amazing. Based from, uh, so hold on, I'm, uh, I'm already lost. Jeez, let me start over. Uh, let's see, who else we got in there? Dennis. What up, man? Dennis Pro, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Sassy Gaming, thank you for, sh for joining us. JNG Aviation, what up, man? Good to see you. One more, one more for DF Dub. Nice, man. We're heading to your hometown right now. Mr. Fox, cheers to you. Musab ID, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming through. Big Mongo Styler, what's up? Good to see you. Kazendale, what up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us today. Gabrix, Alonzo, my friend. This is for you, bro. IFMG, what up, man? Thank you for coming through. Pablo, what up, bro? Always good to see you. F1, F1 shh. What up, bro? Watch from YouTube, as usual. Airbus DS, what's happening, man? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Chase Felbaum, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Captain Bombosa, always. You already know, bro. Always good to see you, man. Good to see you, bro. Tyler Espinoza, welcome from Chicago. Airbus DS from Ohio. Simpa representing Charlotte, North Carolina. Is that where we were? Were we in North Carolina? <laughs> um, I have a lot of family out there in North Carolina. Professional Idiot, watching from Scotland. What's up, man? Mr. Fox watching from Derby Field. Sounds amazing, man. Anonymous. Anaholic. Welcome from Germany, bro. Adrian, who's been also watching from Guatemala. Gabrix. Illy Naples. We need to head out there sometime. GL Cannon from Richmond, Katy, Texas. What's up, bro? I know what that says. That's right down the street. I'm from Houston. What's up, man? We got another Texas native in the building. That's amazing. I need to check out Katy. I haven't seen Katy yet. I wonder if that's, if that's modeled. Spectrack. Ireland. What's up, man? Streaming Gold Beef from Switzerland. What's up, man? Sassy Gaming, how can I join you in the sim? You need to be on USA East server on all players. Uh, that's basically it. <laughs> you can also add me, guys. Remember, uh, call my number, my name is Blue Games 5412, or is it 14? I honestly don't remember. But add me on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. We can do flights in the future. Kazim Editing Software works to stream. MD10 welcome as well. Adrian Guzman, good to see you, man. Chase. Thank you, Ben. Ryan Blue, Kyle Roberts, and Fleur Delils. Thank you very much. Immortal DJ, uh, Michael Hopskin, Hopkins, and Chester Hernandez, Joshua Radfield. Thank you guys again. Samir Patel, or Paddle. Did I get everybody? Did I miss anybody? I don't think I missed anybody. Uh, Samir? DeBarkies, I missed you. I know that for sure. Wow, am I? Okay, cool. I think I'm caught up. Thank you. And Aviation 360 as well, bro. Thank you very, very much. All right, let's do it, guys. Last stop for the day. My camera is all messed up. What is going on? Oh, it's upsetting me about something. Oh, it's because of my... There we go. Boop, boop, boop. All right, we're in my favorite plane, actually, guys. If you didn't know this, the King Air 350i is actually my favorite plane in real life, or one of my favorite GA planes in real life. So pretty excited to have it in the sim. Obviously, we'll have to dig in deeper later on. Um, today is not really meant for that. But uh, let's get it. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, I'm turning music off so you guys can enjoy the sounds of King Air. All right, so I don't know what direction we're taking off in. Uh, south. What's up, downtown? I'm not, I don't remember where downtown is. <laughs> Salud! Muito boa. Sorry. Muito, uh, muito prazer. Muito obrigado. Mucho gusto. Mucho gracias. Merci beaucoup. Alright, here comes 80 knots. It's on the west. Thank you, Alonzo. Alright, so here is uh, the airport. As the gear is coming up, you can see a bunch of AI. Well, I think those are AI. 
uh, AI. Oh god, he took off right next to me. Pretty cool. Gear is coming up. Flaps coming up. But there it is, DFW. Obviously, this is the the, the oh god. <laughs> Those flaps are pretty dramatic. Uh, oh, this is the the default. Sorry, I'm trying to fly and, and talk and show off things at the same time. Default, Dallas, Fort Worth. Obviously, it's it's the right shape, but the buildings are obviously different. You know, it's not handcrafted, so you can't really expect too much from it. But not bad. I actually am getting a few stutters here and there. Right. Not the best frame rate at the moment. It does have jetways, working jetways at all the gates. There's a 747 over there. That's probably a real person. That's my bet. Alright, back inside. Oh wow, I'm about to stall. Fly like a noob out here. So beautiful, that's right. Alright. We got a King Air off our left wing. Traffic in sight. No T cast alert. What's up with that? <laughs> Just gonna circle the airport just for a second. Your mom's at DFW? Pretty cool. Uh, do I think Orbex will make an add on for this airport? Probably not. Uh, it's a bit out of their range and size. You know, Orbex usually makes smaller airports, but we have, there's 400 other developers working on add ons, at least, for, um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I'm pretty sure. Actually, matter of fact, I know. I'm 100% sure there's a DFW on the way because I remember uh, there's a DFW made by someone back on X Plane, and that was like freaking last year, and they advertised that they were making it for X-Plane and for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So, again, I don't know who that developer were, was, um, but they did confirm that they were make, they were planning on making DFW for Microsoft Flight Simulator as well as X-Plane and P3D. So i do not not sure if those versions are already released on X-Plane and P3D, um, but I do, I do know for sure that they they did. So, again, I don't know who that is, what their progress is. I don't know if they're going to bail on a project if it still exists. No idea. All right, where am I at? West is right, so let's go west. Diesel Daniel, we're actually in Dallas, Texas. This is our final stop of the day as we're over speeding <laughs> King Air. It's actually pretty easy to do it sometimes if you're doing aerobatics. Is it flight beam? I'm not sure. Your Microsoft Flight Simulator downloads at 15 out of 91 gigabytes. It's been two hours. Don't worry, man. It took me 10 hours. So, I mean, I'm hoping it doesn't take you as long, but I'm just saying, like, it's a slow process. So, yeah, I think I see downtown. It looks like downtown. I don't remember downtown being this far away from the airport. Where is Dallas Love Field? Am I going into Fort Worth? Oops. <laughs> Bro, direct me. <laughs> Thank you, Infinite Flight, for the subscription to Blue Royal Family. Actually, I see um, a stadium over here. Let's go this way. I wasn't trying to go to Fort Worth. We can save that for another day. Yes, the download process is absolutely worth the wait, man. I mean, it's really frustrating when you're in the process of downloading and you're like, oh my god, are you serious? Only two gigabytes in like this many, like a half hour or whatever. But it's, I mean, if you look at this, man, like, it's definitely worth it. And it only happens once. I mean, when you when you do the initial download, that's the only time it ever happens. So, uh, Prakrit Tiwari, thank you, my friend, for the subscription work to Blu-ray Family. And as well as, um... I mean, you guys have been watching the stream. I mean, it didn't take me barely any time to get get going. So, like, it's only the download is not really, like, loading into the sim that takes that long. Is it FS Dream Team? Thank you, DeBarkis. All right, so here is, uh, I'm not sure what stadium this is, but uh, this, is this the football stadium? Yeah, that's AT&T Stadium right there. I love how it's actually modeled. 
Like, that's a custom model right there. There's no way. There's no freaking way that that was generated. <laughs> Somebody 3D modeled that thing. I, I still don't know where downtown is. You can see I'm starting out with all these buildings generating for miles. The thing about Texas and the big cities in Texas is that they're like super spread out. Just buildings for like, it's, <laughs> it's not as condensed as like New York or London where everything is kind of like close together. In Texas, everything is like kind of far away. See, I'm in Dallas. Where the, seriously, where's downtown? <laughs> uh, we haven't flown to Germany today, um, but we will. Not today. I mean, we won't, won't be flying to Germany today, but we can at some point. And again, we're not taking any more requests for today's live stream. Come back tomorrow. And we'll be flying some more. Is this Dallas Love Field right here? What airport is this? Where the heck are we? Oh, no, it's not. DFW. Hey, yeah, Alonzo, you're going to have to direct me because I have no freaking clue where I am. Super Jestmeister, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Turn left. I can go into Dallas. Is it north? Is that it right there? No. It's just a few big buildings. There's a horse track. I'm turning left. Airport's over there. I like this plane. This plane looks pretty good, doesn't it? Thank you, Flying Dutchman. I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Are we in Irving? I have no idea where we are. Bro, Dallas, you got, I mean, Dallas is a big city. Dallas is probably not too far off from how big Houston is. It's a pretty big city. A very popular city in Texas to live in as well. A lot of great place to live, businesses, things like that. A lot of things to do out here. They have a football team, basketball team, baseball team, I think. Is that a baseball team? No, I don't think you have a baseball team. Uh, yes, you can fly over Antarctica. We won't be flying there today. If somebody wins the contest tomorrow and chooses Antarctica, we will absolutely fly over there. But right now, okay. Do I need to look it up on my map? <laughs> Do we need a map? We might need a map. Now, back when I was doing alpha and beta testing, I actually did fly to Dallas, and I had trouble finding uh, downtown when I did it there as well. I had to actually Google it. Like, but where the heck is downtown Dallas? Jack, uh, Jack Keese, Oliver, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the Royal Family. I appreciate that. Or you would think I'd be able to see it from here, right? As you can see, uh, way off in the distance is actually not generating the buildings, which is fine. I'm very close. Okay. I bet you it's like right underneath me. Isn't it? That street down there is messed up. Look at this. Like a bad spot in the information or something. That looks weird. This is the King Air 350. I turn right. Okay, I'm going right. <laughs> he won it right. We went right. Thank you, Brownie, for the subscription, bro. Thank you. You always support me, bro. I appreciate that. All right, we went right. <laughs> Why is everything out of stock in the thrust pencil shop? Because I think everybody's buying for this.
Where the heck is downtown? Oh my god, right, I'm Googling it right now. I gotta go soon. Maps.google.com. Dallas. Downtown. <laughs> Right now we're going towards, I think, Plano. Right downtown. Downtown Dallas, Texas. Oh, it's down there. Bro, we're going the wrong way. It's freaking south. I think that's Dallas. Low. Let's see. Not doing a good job of being far right now, finding these locations. Yeah, there it is. It just popped in. Found it. Finally, Jesus. See you, Samir. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Whew. All right, well, there it is. There is the uh, cabin, by the way. Look at that. That is sexy. That is beautiful. Landing here. This King Air is getting stress tested today. No problem, Henry. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Appreciate you stopping by, my friend. Hopefully, you guys uh, who are having issues downloading will have it. Uh, we'll get it fixed today, sometime at some point. Yeah, I didn't realize that downtown was so far away from the international airport. It's pretty close to Dallas uh, Love Field, where Southwest is based out of. But Dominican Republic would be a great suggestion. We're not going to be heading out there today. This is our last stop. Are you sure this is it? This looks pretty darn generic. Okay, I remember this highway though. I remember driving down this highway. This doesn't look quite right. I don't know. Maybe maybe I haven't been there in a while. Adrian Guzman, I would say save your money and get it for an aviation career. Absolutely. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to maneuver. Looks like GTA it does. It's like freaking Los Santos. Look at this massive convention center thing over here. Alright, well guys, like I said, I gotta head out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out and chilling and flying with me as well. I am gonna land over here at Dallas Love really quickly. And I'll be out of here. Oh, wait, there's the... Uh, oh, that bridge is not modeled. Oh, it's, uh, it's a really freaking pretty bridge right here we're flying over it and it's not modeled at all we just have a generic bridge there oh, that sucks yeah dallas needs some love for sure speaking of love we're gonna go land at dallas love field so here it is right behind us oh, it's right there right there we're gonna smash it down like we're not going around today <laughs> no go arounds Put it down. I'm using the ultra graphic preset. Uh, Raven, um, I probably won't be playing immediately after the stream is over, but I'll definitely be, be back um, tonight um, to play some more. So if, if you're still awake, I'm definitely down to play some more, uh, do some more group flying. Same for the rest of you guys too. If you join Discord, I'll be Why back on. Uh, I'll be back on a little later to play some more. I 
Let's see if we can put it down. If we can, see if we can get a butter for our final landing today. After a very eventful day <laughs> in flight, as another plane buzzes us there. Runway 31 right. Still getting used to the sensitivity here. And. Okay, now we're down. <laughs> it does have reversals. Here comes the reversals. Not very loud. I think the engine sounds could be uh, be worked on in the King Air, honestly. Like, they don't sound horrible, but it's just... Compared to, like, what I'm used to flying on, on X-Plane with the King Air, with the Aerofoil Labs, I'm used to the engine sounds being a little bit better. But it's a small little uh, constructive criticism there. But all right, guys, welcome to Dallas Love Field, and thank you again, guys, for joining us today on all of our adventures and fun. Uh, man, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm looking... It's going to be even more fun as we continue throughout the week. Uh, again, a lot of streamers are streaming. Microsoft Flight Sim. I know a lot of you guys who are watching are probably streaming as well. So definitely enjoy and um, let me know how it goes. Hopefully you'll fly with us later. And we'll shut the engines off. There we go. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Let's go to a nice little view and we'll bounce out. Downtown in the background. Yeah, they need to do some work on Dallas, on the, uh, the, the scenery for Dallas in general. Like, it's just really, really, really lacking. Big time. Big time. Again, guys, thank you for joining in. No more requests for today. We'll be back tomorrow to do some more fly to your house action, as well as flying 787 into Dubai. <laughs> see ya. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait. Don't just see ya. Remember, you got three choices. Give up. Give in and give it all you got, guys. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video.